and we should be live, hopefully. Hopefully the mic isn't doing the thing. <laughs> also, hypnotic. <laughs> uh, let me make sure my boy's working. Yes, Team Fort, too. Hey! It's, he's working. Hi, wizard! How are y'all doing? No? Why would I know we're here? Headphones are here. Moon's in the room, in case you guys couldn't, <laughs> couldn't already tell. We're going to be looking at some true... Well, we're going to be looking at a specific true crime case, because we actually saw at least a chunk of the body cam footage that was released a bit ago on one of the true crime streams. And it just, it was so fucky, the circumstance around it was so fucky. Uh, the case is still currently ongoing, like it's legitimately still going through the courts, but a lot more information was revealed. The, um, <laughs> a lot more information was revealed, and also, also, the interrogation footage was also revealed, like, made public, because it couldn't be public for a little bit because of court stuff. Um, so I figured we could check that out. The case is really fucking... Uh, uh, I know a chunk of the details about this because I was just like, what the fuck? This is one of those situations where I feel like there's just no winners. It's all losers. Everyone suffered to a certain degree, you know? <laughs> Hi! I did that. It's not Skeleton's fault. I did that. So the first video we're going to look at has a little bit of the body cam footage from the events before what actually happened happened and a little bit of like precursor information. I have another video. It's, it's a short one. I have another video that's slightly longer. That is the actual full body cam footage that I'm aware of on the night of the incident. And then the last video we're looking at is the longest video and the longest chunk of the stream. And that's the actual interrogation footage slash interview footage with the actual suspect and it also ends kind of summing up where it's at uh in the courts and what's what's kind of going on there's even i think some stuff involving like the family members of the victim i also have a page that i found that was actually published like five hours ago that has to do with recent stuff having to do with what's going on in the court system i figure we could look at that too this is still ongoing which is just crazy uh, true crime stuff takes forever to go through the courts. Like, our justice system is nuts for that. And this case in particular, I can see why it took so it, it's taking so long to go through the system, but at the same time, it just pisses me off. You guys will know what I'm talking about when, I, when we actually play it, because I'm going to vocalize it, but like, bro. I can't with this shit. I really cannot. <coughs> We're not banning Skeleton. What the fuck? Um. Let me make sure this is going. There you go. <coughs> Today has been like a really okay day for me. I woke up at a somewhat reasonable time. I didn't sleep in, which was kind of nice. And I've just been kind of taking it slow. The last like, what, three or four days now have been kind of... Uh, but... I'm feeling better. This is the most human I've felt in a while. <laughs> yeah, sneeze right to me. Huh? Sneeze right to my knees, I'm skeleton. <laughs> I have work tomorrow. Well, I've worked for the next couple of days. I'm back to my regular sc schedule, so I have Fridays and Mondays off. <clears throat> I'm still probably not going to be posting a schedule for the next X amount of weeks just because I'm trying to get some stuff in order and... I gotta ask about, well, I don't gotta, but I'm going to ask about overtime either Saturday or Sunday if I'm able to. The problem is the manager that I need that I want to talk to about it that would actually be able to do things. Um, I think she's in Monday and Tuesday. Monday I'm off and I don't really want to go into work without her being scheduled. <laughs> so, worst case scenario, it's going to wait until Tuesday, but I'm literally just going to be asking my manager, can I keep the, or the manager specific one I'm talking to? I'm literally just going to ask, can I keep the days that I currently have off? And then on the days that I am working, can any of my shifts be expanded to 9 to 9 or 11 to 11? Just because I know that we do need people and overtime would be kind of nice. <laughs> be kind of nice. I don't even know if it's going to get approved, but I'm hoping it will. <laughs> Possibly. We'll see. 
I'm still very excited for the 14th. Um, on the 14th, I'm going to be pushing over the funds from my throne account into my bank account, and I'm going to be purchasing. Uh, that should only take, the longest that should take is a couple days, and I'll be ordering the VR headset. So I'm very excited for that. And I think when I order the VR headset, I might also order the um, Steam Deck as well, just to kind of knock them both out. Both out. It might wait a week. I don't know. I'm still going to order it within the end of the month or by the end of the month. I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm, and I'm going to go ahead and get um, Skyrim VR when I get the VR headset. It's currently on sale, which is kind of epic. I want to actually look at other VR games as well, but I know for a fact I'm going to want to play that. I figure testing it and messing around with it, I'll probably be on VR chat. That is definitely not going to be streamed, but I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I kind of want to look at like available horror games for VR because that is probably going to be interesting. <laughs> interesting experience. Uh, I think we're going to go full screen, but I'm going to be on the screen. I think. Is this working? Ow. Yeah, it's working. It's working! Okay, so I should be able to go full screen. Let me do this. Hey, it's the first video. Would you look at that? I don't think I'll be that much in the way, and I can always move myself down. I can always be, like, peeking. Peeking in the corner. Let me... But yeah, so... Cozy, probably gonna get upset watching this just because it's, it's, it's such a fucky case. But... Overall, cozy true crime vibes. I want to kind of just, kind of want to just exist and watch true crime. You know, that's that's the goal. I'm in I'm in a cozy outfit. I'm just vibing. That's the energy. I should be able to do this. So if I do this. Ow. Yeah, that works. It fucking works. <coughs> it works. Brother. Okay. I have desktop on too, so you guys should actually hear it too. Alrighty. So yeah, this is, um... I think this shows, like, previous incidents, because there were other times the cops were called before the actual true crime incident took place. If that makes sense. Yeah, how are you? A Florida woman accused of shooting her neighbor over a trespassing dispute pleads not hey, guilty Loki in court. Human, how you doing? All this as newly yes. released body camera <laughs> video crime. gives us an inside look at a year-long feud leading up to the shooting. I'm munching on, I, I caved, and I, and, I, and I used a little bit of money to order some food because I've been good and I've been not spending and I've been saving. I got some um, pasta The body salad. camera video also shows officials uh, it's, speak it's technically with the victim but they use a months type before of pasta. she's gunned down. Uh, some garlic bread, whole garlic, whatever. It's, it's, it's like garlic oil on bread. 58-year-old so Susan Lorenz Yo! is now charged Again. with manslaughter in the June 2nd shooting death of a G. Jika A.J. Owens in Ocala, I'm going to call her Susan because I cannot say pronounce Lorenz her last shot name. shot at Owens through Lorenz? a locked metal like, that door sound, over a disagreement right. involving Owens' Susan. children who have been playing in an open field near Susan. Lorenz's apartment. <laughs> Leading up to Owens' death, Lorenz made more than a dozen calls to the Marion County Sheriff's Hopefully Department you guys can actually about hear the, the so-called disturbances, sure that y'all can claiming the children bullied her on. and referred to her as Karen. <laughs> I don't oh my God, she's one of those. screaming and yelling at me, telling me I'm a bitch, calling me Karen. Oh my call, God. I mean, calling me names, really. Suck gonna, it the know, fuck up. I'm bullying. so sorry, but like people, okay, kids are assholes. And I don't, that's not a free pass for kids to be assholes. They should be held responsible to a certain point. But as the adult in the situation, if, you, if name calling is happening, you remove yourself from the situation, bring it up to the parents. Like, what else are you gonna do? You're an, you're a whole ass adult. I don't want to face. You're a whole this. adult, incident, bro. Lorenz explains neighborhood children play near her rental apartment. She accuses them of screaming and yelling and disregarding and a she, no trespass sign. If they are being sign. loud, then kids keep running back and forth over here. If they are when being the loud, are call the cops. I don't, you know, it's really noisy. The way the okay. the way my apartment's set up, you can see it ends here. Screaming, Does she have a right to put up a no trespass sign? They don't have children. Like on her house or on the property she's renting, yeah, the then probably. The 
for some reason, they love to play over here, my guys. Probably because it's open. I understand that. I have migraines. Horrible migraines. I had a very bad car wreck. I had my neck used. I've had, I need more back surgery. I don't want to hear these children. I've asked them, please, keep the kids away. You know, there's other places they can play. They don't have to play here. They're screaming, yelling at me, telling them the kids are not hurting anybody. The kids, you know, they're not damaging anything. Well, they're damaging me because the migraines are so bad. Most days I can barely stand. I'm on the pyramid. I think it's blurred out intentionally. Which is funny because we they already showed a picture of her, you know. It's horrible for me. I'm in pain. I can't hear the children. I'm not and I'm not trying to, like, okay, to be know, fair, she is not. older, and it's got to suck to put up with that, right? If it is really, like, a constant noise situation. But, again, as the adult, I can't get over that. You're the adult. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks, but, like, remove yourself. Like, go to a library or something. Like, find a, uh, find a spot that you're safe to go to if home is, like, loud like that. And in the meanwhile, call the cops, put a camera up so you can get, like, Evidence of the noise, like something. Um, <sighs> okay. Know, like, what we'll does she expect the animals? cops to do? Yes. I don't understand. There's that. no trespassing sign. Okay. I, I still you don't know. know. Like, yeah. she could put a no trespassing sign up, like, on her property that she's renting, but, like, where's she putting the no trespassing sign? Because that's also something that has me kind of like, huh? Oh. Saying that this guy's giving them okay to um, be on. On separate occasions, Lorenz alleges her landlord has instructed the children to remain off the property, but that the no trespassing yeah, I sign the, was um, stolen. I thought the actual owner of the land would have to say no. Like, that's where I get kind of confused because she's renting it. What's going on this evening? Lots of children screaming their full heads off, running around. Um, I had my truck in front of the here, so I didn't have to listen to the screaming and yelling. As soon as I moved the truck, the kids are coming up. I'm like, guys, stop. They know they're not supposed to be over here. They've been told to be the They've previously stolen the no trespassing sign. But sheriff's deputies hear conflicting information when speaking to neighbors. You don't even come outside and play football with the kids or play. Okay. So I figure, well, if the cops are there, it's probably she she keeps calling every time. I mean, it's just over stupidity. Literally, okay. kids just going around. She keeps posting signs over here. I mean, we all live here. Kids mm -hmm. play over there. It's an open field, whatever. Um, she keeps messing around with the kids. And the kids, sometimes they go like, they start yeah, cursing they, at her. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. you know what? No, don't do that. you got to respect her. She, right, she's an right, adult, you know what right. I mean? I mean, but she's... She's not all there. And she During one of these calls, Lorenz asks sheriff's deputies to trespass children she alleges are near her rental property, but officials explain that won't quite work. You don't have sole control over the parking lot. There's four people here. Yeah, but those children don't live here. I mean, they literally live across the street on the other side. They don't. I, I understand what you're but, telling but, me. Hey, look, it's it, not blurred. But you don't have sole power to say, blurred. hey, they can't be in this parking lot. Dude, the cops seem pretty but chill He's about asked this. them to leave. I mean, you can call Charles. I mean... I, I'm just telling you what I... It's trespassing. It's the first time's civil. Because it's not... It doesn't become criminal until they're wrong. Okay, but he's already told them. You're not trespassing. Who's he? I would love right. to know if and he actually just, just tell trespassing me. right now. During this conversation, a neighbor approaches officials while they're speaking with Lorenz. She then accuses him of trespassing. He's What's just trespassing fuck? right now. Bro. He's yes. trespassing yeah, right yourself. now. He's trespassing. He came over to come ask us a question. Yeah, he's what, what, do you, what do you need us to do? What do you want us to do? Tell the girls not to come. They can't come on when I'm on the phone. Okay. I mean, literally, they cannot come on when I'm on the phone. I mean, I can talk to them if I can figure out who they are. But yeah. I mean, he needs to get, because he's screaming all the time, too. Okay. He just needs to get off. Like, when she might just be tired the neighbor, of, like, a really shitty situation, but He claims Lorenz may God. not be all there. Mid-conversation, the the Lorenz vibe is, interrupts them. It's, this is just an open field. You know, he belongs to both property. You know what I'm saying? So if the kids want to play there, so whatever. This is and that's, uh, that's what I keep telling them. Hey, as long as you don't get in her door, you don't start throwing rocks, don't be cursing at her, it's okay. She can call the cops whenever she wants, but... And, and so I was they're just playing in the lot by the building. You know, the That's just a normal fucking situation, bro. Why are you escalating it? 
one day you guys are gonna die. And I'm like, and that's when I like, whoa. I'm not, I'm getting too much what? There's, there's no before. goddamn way she was sure. talking. Oh. Go someplace where he's not barking. Please, I'm getting too much feedback. I she is really telling the cops to go. Dog. Captain. It's a dog. We can't stop the dog from barking. Yeah, but it's too much feedback. Can you please at least go someplace? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'd be a horrible cop because this Karen ass motherfucker. I'd be like, it's legal for me to be standing here, bitch. That's what I'm saying. She's out of there, right? Multiple times, there, first though. responders speak with children who say Lorenz calls them inappropriate names. Were you the guys that, that this lady was mad about? Oh yes, God. and I just yeah. want to say that okay. every time, like even hey, if we're not... Hold on, hold on. Let's bring it down. Okay, I'm sorry. You're okay. Every time, okay. even if we're not on our property and we're just like, at, like being loud and playing basketball over there because there's a basketball game. I got you. Like she, she just calls us names. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, like, like literally, um, like literally, all the kids because that's an open spot right there. Yeah. All that is not her property. I got the you. The guy that I, I was telling this officer right here, right here, this guy has said numerous times, "Y'all come over like here." Like they're and play actual children. Because that's they all the like to play football. Like, okay. So she's okay with Growing it, and that's where they're meeting now. They're more on his side. Teens and young adults, so like kind of loiter in the street. I say loiter, but like quite honestly, they were just killing time in the street. I don't think that's bad. The P okay. word. And they would occasionally like, get loud, like, especially in the summertime. Like, the kids were playing right there, and it, it was his dad outside. The most you can do really is call him out. Okay. She came out yelling, and she was talking about a little girl getting raped and stuff. Like, she's crazy. What the She'll fuck? come out just yeah, yelling about Yeah, she just says, she weird. I, like, I have said stuff to her before because I one time I just had Captain come outside, and she was calling them retards, and I'm like, hey, like, relax. Yeah. I'm like, these are kids here. I got she you. always calls her property. And she always be so right? And they're playing over. Bastards. And then the boys are playing. She tells us to F off and stuff. And she calls she us an N word. Hmm? Oh no, she is not throwing no, the N word right out there. there. Damn. That's what she right that bitch white as hell. You can't be saying she, that. She's over, she's over there. She's over there. She comes down and starts. She doesn't want us right there, but it's a problem when we get off. Get off my F word property. I like the cops. It ain't her property. Don't be worried about it. She had, you gonna yell at us? She had, um, she asked me. Oh, yeah. Because she, every time I go, I walk past, she thinks we're trying to steal her truck or buy her truck. We're not even, we're 11. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it just sounds like Karen has way too much fucking time on her hands. Karen needs a hobby. Officials also speak with the parents Does Karen have a husband? Karen needs a man. Their kids or a woman. I'm not going to judge. Karen needs someone. Outside of Lorenzo's <laughs> Because what the fuck? All she'd be doing is getting angry at the children. Like, that's such a sad goddamn existence. I don't... I love how the cop the cops are being so good with this whole thing though. Look at their kids, they're gonna be loud. Like it is what it is, man. And it is kind of cool that all the kids are like all the kiddos are cool together. Occasion, they vibe together. Officials even speak with Owens after awesome. Lorenz accuses her children kinda. of bringing a dog near her property. He's angry at children, sure. calls the cops because okay. children don't yeah. have managers. Two ladies who just keep coming by. <laughs> and think it's well, I mean, her name is Susan, okay. but I guess the children Two, would really um, upset her by calling animals. her Karen. But they're literally, again, children, those children, were they look like they were anywhere between, like, 12 and fucking 8 years old. They're actual fetuses. Like, if you can't deal with that, maybe look at other housing options, <laughs> bitch. Like, I don't... I really do genuinely love the attitudes of law enforcement Spring so far, though, in this video. I'm kind of getting in the way. Let me. Let me be a sneaky boy in the corner. Guys, I'm right here. Right here. Okay. I don't know if the thing will hit me, but I'm right here. It's fine. Owens explains her confrontation with Lorenz that happened nearly a year and a half before the deadly shooting. This is joint area. You can't tell them they can't walk in on this side. So they're just walking the dog. So nothing. Yeah. You saw all oh, right in front of my face. God damn it. She comes outside yeah, to go to the park or something. She sees him. 
on oh. purpose. I said, I'm going to have you arrested. I'm going to have you arrested. And she has her phone out like she's taking his picture or whatever. Now he's trying to run back across the street. So I said, I'm sorry, what are you saying to him? And the so fact that her, honestly the parents weren't more, more aggro with her, like, because I feel like it's justifiable. You go after someone's kid. On this side, you don't own this. And even what? On this side, you don't own this either. You're renting this just like I rent over here, just like they rent over there. You don't own this. You can't tell them. Technically, they're not in your personal, personal space. I don't like it. That's what we get to see, though, man. Throw their football Turn over your here. fucking body game Lorenzo towards the person court speaking. On Tuesday, where she pleaded not guilty so, like, to the manslaughter charge. I'm not I'm not even going to continue because it's just it's just wrapping up like details about the court stuff. Um, so she was just kind of a bitch. Neighbors knew about it. She'd get kind of aggro with the kids, but nothing got physical. It seems it was very much just I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to yell at you. I'm going to swear at you. Possibly use the N word at them, which is just like, why would you do that? That's just so fucking ignorant and dumb. I don't. <laughs> I love how all of the parents they talk to are like, yeah, she, this is just what she does, but, like, the kids aren't hurting anything, and we're all cool with each other. So, like, <laughs> like the energy there was really nice for that. Like, the cops were really good with the kids as well. There's plenty of videos we've seen where I have a lot to say about the cops, like, not treating people nicely. But it's kind of refreshing to see them actually just interact with members of the community like that. Hi. So this, oh god, okay, so first off, fucking seizure warning, epilepsy warning, there's a lot of flashing. This is the body cam video that happened right after the incident happened, right after the shooting happened. So this one's probably going to be a little heavier. I'm sure there's going to be some upset kiddos and neighbors and stuff because it's fucking terrifying, the concept of someone just shooting someone. I mean, I live in the ghetto and I still, that is definitely one of my fears. I think I mentioned when it happened, but... I think I mentioned around when it happened or when it happened, but there's literally been shootings in the parking lot of where I work. Like, there's been deaths just there. So, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I know what a gunshot uh, sounds like, and it's not great, and it's definitely something that's kind of terrifying to think of. But, yeah, I couldn't imagine, yeah, I couldn't. I fucking couldn't. This whole situation is bad. It's an old white lady. Right yeah, <laughs> it's an old yeah, white lady. There is still someone with a gun. She's inside. Okay. Yes, she Where? 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 She's in the house. Purpose. That apartment. Right here. This first apartment. I need some, like a court. Wake up. Baby, wake up. 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 Baby, wake up! We need to do CPR real quick. Baby, wake up! CPR. Baby, wake up! Let me oh see. Do we Jesus have any Paul? I, I don't remember. Do we have any Paul? Was she shot multiple times? The only thing I remember about the actual shooting was it was through a door. We got Paul! We got Paul! You just say we got Paul's? All right. Sheriff's Office, come outside! Like, your how hands fucking up. traumatizing is that? This is the Marion County Sheriff's Office, come outside with your hands up! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Turn around! Turn around! Where's your gun at? I couldn't even. You got hands, you got hands. You're gonna be detained. Is that. there anybody else in the house? No, 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 not right now. Jesus Christ. Right. You're not under arrest. Come over here. Hold on. Bitch, bitch, you shot someone. What the fuck are you talking about? Please tell me someone's with the kids. Like, please tell me someone has the kids. The the police bag? Green shoulder bag. Dude, there's so much shit. Is that normal in the back of the I, I thought it was supposed to be more organized. Here. Here. Go assess the person down. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Here, move, move. 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 She's got a pulse. Move. Move. She does. Here, yeah. she's got a pulse. Oh, where is where is the gunshot? Right here, right here. What did he start with? Here, like a twenty-two or something. She said she has a pulse. No, yes. She's got pulse. She said she's got pulse. Bro, this man, been planning to do this for the longest time, bro. Oh, this fucking woman for fucking ever. Oh my God. Dude, the neighbors. I got, I got, I got. Right here, right here, right here. Chest, right here. Right, right, right side of chest. Okay. There's no exit. I don't see a lot of blood. Yeah, I don't see the blood. It's like a 22 or something. I got her baby. Get my stuff. Get my stuff. I was going to say, please tell me someone has kids. That's the mother right there. That's her mother right there. Hey, boss, babe. Keep, keep the light over here. Yeah, I know you're upset. Focus on CPR, man. Let me do the rest. We're no, together. She's the neighbor. Murder, not harder. She's the oh, my God. Can you fucking oh. imagine if this was our kids? Jesus Christ. No, Virgo. Oh, can I take a few steps back? Just keep the light right here. If you need to switch out, let somebody know. Got you. All right, hold on. Let me cut so I can see her. Oh, Mark. Yeah, all right, bye. Kids are saying that they only hit, they only heard one shot. So she was only shot once, not the single. Okay. I would fucking yeah. remember. Like I said, I know I some knew, details of this case, and I, I don't know them all because I have both the cameras. She, she, we always call the cops on this woman. They won't do nothing about her. Bro, it's sad because I feel like this is one of those situations where something had to happen for anything room. to no, happen. I, I checked it. I which is it. so it's fucking me. bullshit. It's not even funny, but like... Honestly, she was just being a massive bitch. She, she decided to pick up a gun this time around. Yeah, and took her back. she was scared. No, 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 no exit. No, no exit. Oh, girl, got to very up. Bro, this is fucking crazy. All right. Oh, girl, got to very up. They got to run down. Man, come on now, bro. Fuck some kids. What? Fuck kids. What? And you said there's no exit? No, I didn't see one unless it's in another spot. Yeah, I mean, the kids was over there. They weren't even open here. They are sitting right there watching them all day. Yeah, hold well, this flashlight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan her legs yeah. real quick. Jesus. Oh, my God. So they're just trying to keep a pulse going, I think, until oh. until oh. ambulance is ready to hear and ready to take her. Come on, come stay with it. Hey, can you guys show medics where we're at so they don't get confused? Right here. Over here. Well, medics usually mean ambulance. Stay with him, dude. Hey, stop for a second. Check pulse. Check your pulse. Check your pulse. How long has she been down? Uh, maybe, it's not even 20 minutes now. Yeah. Jesus. I, I feel her pulse. I can feel it. I felt, no. It's very faint, but I feel it. Yeah. No exit wound. No exit wound. No. She has one small wound. It sounded like a 22 or something. Okay. Is that the homeboy that mentioned that he was in the military? He, know, he knows the sound the gun makes. Like, yeah, I know there's differences in the type of gun, but Jesus Christ, bro. Like, what? You ready? Mary Cat! The fucking cat's out. Oh, I wonder if it has to be blurred. I know that parts of it have to be blurred, like, legally. They have to blur it. And I, like I said, this is still ongoing. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, but I think it's the same dude because it was all blurry, so I don't know. I think it was the same dude who, when they were walking up, was like, she said something about military. Like, he's, he's ex-military or he's in the military? But, like, motherfucker, what? That is some weird fucking shit. I mean, kind of cool, but weird. <laughs> he just, he plays CSGO for, like, 20 hours straight randomly throughout the week. <laughs> 
Guys, I got this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, I think they legally had to blur this out. I don't think it's been, like, fully released. I don't know. I could be wrong. Because I don't think there's anything in the house. Like, I get why she was blurred out. Because, yeah. That is a terms of service and everything else issue right there. Like, no one needs to see that. You don't have crime scene tape? Yeah, I do. I got okay, it. Okay, we'll just we'll see it. Hey, put it right here. Hey, there's a little boy by my car. He's okay. the one that was the primary witness. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Show that's me which one you were referring to. Oh, so a child to. was the one that witnessed the most of that happen. That's beautiful. That definitely will not traumatize you for the rest of your life. Oh my god! She should have been in jail. She should have. Did you see him? How are you holding up, ma'am? Give me a second. She's gonna be in there a minute. Will you put her handcuffs in front? Yeah. Hey, you gotta take it. I do. All she did was not. Here, here, step out for me real quick. All right, I'm gonna move. Your I'm gonna move your handcuffs to the front. All right. Like it just kills me that she thought she was gonna be able to do this and get away with it. We are, go we are gonna secure your house. Okay. And that's right, let me see your lay it together like your like, brain. There's like there's no consequence. She thought there's gonna be no consequence. In my pocket is my keys for the house. Like those that we'll grab that, those in a second, all right? Had four yeah, young children. The, they will never get to see them no no again because you decided go inside, to right? without a gun. Right, you, Actually, I don't know where my keys are. Shit. All right, well, that's fine. We'll we'll figure it out, all right? Hearing the actual reactions to people though is nuts. Like the neighbors and shit. The screaming earlier, I think that was one of the kids. It's sad, but... <sighs> I was outside. Okay. Uh, I can tell you what I heard, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the kids were playing outside earlier, right? In his, in his yard. And what, what, yes, ma'am. And one of the little kids, he left his iPad on the ground. And I guess the old white lady that, that shot the lady, she grabbed his iPad and she threw a roller skate at him. And um, he went, or she came out with an umbrella too and was trying to swing at him or some shit like that. Uh uh. And then, uh trying to actually swing Is that what you heard or is that what you saw? That's what I heard. Okay, well, I mean, let's just focus on what you okay. saw. Facts. Uh, and, and what I, all, the only thing I heard was her knocking on the door pretty loud, right? Who, who was knocking all I, on the door? Uh, the lady that got <laughs> shot, right? She was knocking on the other lady's door. Yeah, like to, to, to see what had went ha, between the two kids, you know? Like, Wait, did between you, her did and you the kids. see anything or. Nah, you just you, gotta, you gotta talk to the kids. You gotta talk to the kids. You gotta talk to the little kid and the older one. Okay. But all I heard was nothing and then a gunshot. That's it. No one, no fighting, but, none of that. But you didn't actually see anything? No, sir. No. That's okay. just nuts. All right. Thanks, man. Um, like, even if she was slightly like, like, aggravated, right? 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 She's just knocking it. on the door. There, he said he didn't hear anything else. So there wasn't any swearing, no cursing, no yelling. It was just went up to a person's door because it was closed, knocked it, and then got shot through the door. Like, that's wild. This was supposed to be one of the kids that saw it? Because that is probably the last thing she thought was going to happen. Because what the fuck? Where is he? Robert, you said Mary. 65, 10, 50. Is this him right here? What's going on, my man? All right, first, um, here, give me this. Uh, it's okay, relax. Nothing happened. You're good. What's your name? Like, they have to send you space out because minor. Aww. It's all right. You can take a deep breath. Take as long as you need. Aww. There you go. Um. Oh, are chunks of his statement redacted? Really? I'm kind of surprised about that. Usually they'll only really redact the names. But I guess because you're dealing with a minor. 
damn. Like, I, I hope that little guy's in therapy. <laughs> like, I don't know if he's one of her children. I don't, like, I don't know who witnessed what, because they haven't really been clear, but because it's kind of a mess, because this is literally when they arrive on scene. God damn. And they said it was two kids that witnessed it. One was shorter, one was younger, one was older. They were like the main witnesses. I kind of want to just fast forward. Difference, a lie. Oh, Difference okay. between a truth and a lie. There you go. Because he's just going over stuff. Truth and a lie? There you go. Yeah. What's what's the difference between a truth and a lie? One is right and one's wrong. Okay, so if I said if if I said that my uniform is the color blue, is that true or is that a lie? It's a lie. If I said that the sky is blue, is that truth or a lie? It's truth. Okay. Uh, when you tell me how tell me how like you start your day, like when you wake up in the morning, what is your routine? Um, when I wake up in the morning, yeah, I either take out my dogs. Or okay. Breakfast, or I go out try to see if anybody's outside so I can play with them. Okay. And uh, what about? Okay, so so you have like a morning routine that you have. All right. So tell me what you saw here tonight. I, I wonder much. what they were blurring oh, out. I was. Where are they? I was <laughs> okay. A mother was killed. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah <laughs> no. Oh my god. So I really do wonder what they blurred out there. I wonder if the child was just freaking out. I mean, fucking understandable. He just saw someone get fucking executed, but like, oi! Oi! Tell me your morning routine. Redacted. <laughs> Yo! Um, I was on my um, electric scooter. Okay. And then. Like, my all these. Mom I feel so mad. bad for all the children in this. Oh, oh my, my god. Mad at, at the lady. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Because she took <laughs> oh. something. So your friend's mom. Yeah. Is uh, which one was your friend's mom? Oh, okay. So that is wasn't oh, one of her was children, but the one still. On the oh my god. Okay. So that that was your friend's mom. She got mad. Like that is because fucking trauma, The other lady bro. had taken an iPad. Yes. Okay. So what happened? And after she that? gave it back. The 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 other lady gave it back. Yes, and then. So then. She came and banged on the door. Her like, I understand window. they have to get okay. a statement, right? Because it just happened and all that. that but she banged on that, and then the door. Okay. And Boy, then I was on my little scooter right here, and then... I don't know where I hear the big bang. Okay. Oh. Did you actually see anybody oh with God. any kind of gun, anything like that, or did you just hear? I just hear them. Okay. What did you see after that? I don't know. I came outside and I saw my first mom on the ground. Okay. Good job. Oh, right. there you go. I was yeah. going to say, this someone your... fucking was this, something, was this the, uh, bro. No, they're not. Oh, my okay. God. She might, be with, uh, she might be talking to them over there. But Jesus Christ. Right. Um, you guys will be around, right? Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. Uh, do you have ID on you? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry. I got our, uh, they mentioned another kid. I wonder if they're going to question that child, too. I'm sorry? It's got to be messy when minors are involved like this. I think, if I remember correctly, there were cameras on, like, some of the neighbor's doors and stuff. Garages and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think they were able to actually capture at least parts of what happened. I think I don't remember like the, all the fine details for this case. I remember listening to bits of this case and getting really fucking upset because what the fuck? Like this is just a lot of true crime is just an utter waste of like resources and time and like just really selfish individuals. Like you didn't have to do what you did, but you did, and what the fuck? But like this one's just bad because like what the fuck? Like that <sighs> she wasn't being threatening. At least from everything I've seen in regards to this case, she wasn't being, like, she wasn't yelling. She wasn't, 
She literally walked up to homegirl's door, knocked on it, probably wanting to have a conversation because it involved her kids and other kids on the street, and got shot through the door. Like, I just... And why is this muted? I would love to know why selectively stuff yeah, like, is what happened? muted. Okay. Uh, because, like, it's the first chunk for everyone is muted. I mean, it's just my kid who went into the house. Okay. Uh, he was all panicking oh, okay. and scared. So I'm like, whoa, what happened? Yeah. You know, I see him all. Aww. So, I'm like, whoa, whoa. He was, uh, he was having a hard time explaining. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? I mean, I heard, I heard before that, I heard something. Like, yeah. a, like a 22. Dude, the yeah. lights are kind of getting. <laughs> I went off. Why. And I'm like. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't I know think I have here, epilepsy, you know? yeah, but yeah. goddamn. Okay. Probably. When he said that, I put it's one and two together. I'm like, whoa, like, let's see. So I'm, I'm walking out. I see everyone going crazy. The kids hey. crying over there. I'm kind of surprised they let anything for the, for the um, questions. Okay. Okay. Major crimes going to be the interview. Yeah. So just gather. I know for yeah, all his information, his son's information. I already got it all. Oh, uh, we got to go get other people. God, it's so bright. Okay, I'm just away from the screen. I can listen to this. We might not going to go pretty late. No, that's fine, man. Because we want to get all the answers. And, and I'm just letting you guys know. I'm letting you guys know. This neighborhood here is hot. It's it's always hot. You know, there's a lot of things. Going I come through here as much as I can. But uh, the, uh, the reason why I'm saying it is, she's not safe coming back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I, I get what you're saying. Where are the four? Oh, where are the actual four kids? Though? Are they in her house or were they on the street? I, got you, I have a lot yeah. of concerns. All right, if we need anything, we'll come back. All right. Those children, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna get her 43. Bye. Bye. Hello. All right. Uh. Dude, it's so fucking bright. What is your first name? Susan. S U S A N. Correct. Middle name? Louise. L O U I S E. L O U I S E. Yes. What's your last name? Lawrence. L O R I N. Her her fucking last Pat. name does not look like it's supposed to be pronounced in that way. L O R I N C Z. Like at all. That's correct. Yeah, her last name trips me up. Some last names are just like that, though. So, you know. You yeah, know. Can we just like fast forward to this last customer help for the week? Yo, let's go, Hypnotic! You know you're awesome. Was any of the other kids out there? Um, I, I, like, look at how small that baby is! That's an actual baby! Please tell me that they were not outside when this occurred! Like, goddamn! Look at that shot! Goddamn! The ones I've all talked to here but like that's what I mean. I I don't know. True crime stuff that involves any sort of like love and uh, anything involving kids, either as witnesses or parts of the incident that take place, piss me off because. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. No, the mom got shot. So, there was incidents... I'm going to do, like, a slow, oh, yeah. slow recap, because honestly, it's fine. Uh, there were incidents leading up to this. This woman, the person who shot off the gun, older white woman, Susan, um, she... She seems like she just had too much time on her hands, honestly, and she hyperfixated on the kids playing in different parts of the streets and stuff, and she didn't like it. Uh... Is that cop? That cop is two times the child's height. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> we can have a short king. Uh, <laughs> and uh, imagine seeing your mom just execute. Oh God, no! Um, so there were like instants leading up to this, but it never got physical. It was always like her yelling at the kids, the kids kind of being kids and kind of throwing it back at her. Uh, she'd call the cops. Cops would show up. The cops would be like, we can't really do anything. They're, it's not your property. So they have a right to play there. They have a right to be there. If they're, of course, if they're like screaming or whatever, you can, you can call us. And if we come, if we show up and they're being like ridiculous, then yeah, that can be a thing. But they're kids. They're, they're, they're kids, bro. And, like, all the parents seem to kind of get along, and they're cool with the kids kind of doing their thing, because the kids are just being kids and having fun. And there was an incident where earlier, I think, they're gonna recap it in the next video for the actual timeline, but the way I think it plays out is you have 
on this same day that this body cam footage is taken, there's an incident where she kind of gets loud and gets in the kid's face. And at one point, she throws a roller skate at one of them and then just kind of retreats. On her way back, she takes um, an iPad that was on the ground where they were playing. Um, one of them must have told the, the mom because the mom did come out and that's what actually started the whole thing. She actually, because Susan was in the house, she walked up to the door and knocked on the door. Well, she knocked on the door and a shot went off. It went through the door and it killed her. And there were unfortunately a couple kids still out on the street when it happened. So that's great. That's amazing. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ignore that, Karen. One of her complaints, actually, leading up to this, was that the children would specifically call her Karen. Meanwhile, you have the children and you have neighbors talking about how she would come out yelling at the kids, using curse words, and what did the children specifically even said that she threw the N-word out at them? I'm like, bitch, what? You huh? You absolutely what? Like, honestly, I'm surprised she didn't end up getting beat in some type of way, because what the fuck? You do not fuck with people's children in that way. Do you know who's watching over her son? Um, they want me to notify him. Or they want us to notify his dad. It's a... Yeah, the I, re I don't remember a bunch of the details, but in the interrogation, the next video we're going to be playing, it goes over specific timeline details, and I just remember um, listening to some of them and just thinking, that is so fucked. Like, it somehow gets even more fucked. This entire thing is crazy. But, like, the circumstances just get worse and worse when you look at the actual facts. That are really yeah. And the kids, mind you, the fucking kids are, like, between the ages of 7 and, like, 13. They're not even, like, rowdy teenagers. They're literal children. They're actual fetuses. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, ho? You got a right here. I don't know. I'm not, like, super pro-children, but they're fucking children. You know what I mean? Like, I just... In the paperwork uh... box. Look through, find a crime scene log. And just sit in the car with her and start a report. Like, they're just trying to exist, man. And they're not even doing anything negative. They were just playing on the street. Every fucking neighborhood has a spot where kids usually gather to play on the street. Like, that's just normal in most, like, areas. Oh, he has one printed out already, too. Oh, okay. I think I mentioned earlier, but, like, I, I get it if it's, like, older teens getting rowdy or young adults that are getting rowdy. Maybe, maybe alcohol is involved and it's getting loud. Maybe it's, like, a party situation. I understand getting mad then. I still don't understand whipping out a gun. But I understand the frustration and I understand the whole, you know, I call the cops and they show up and people disperse and nothing really happens. And this just keeps happening over and over again. And that's frustrating. But, like, bro, kids, actual fucking children. Like, that's just so fucked. I think she was only shot once. Because they, th when they were doing CPR on her, they mentioned only one bullet wound. People know what, what I think about kiddos. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I, I would also question why she had a gun. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like a super unsafe neighborhood, but... There are some neighborhoods that do have, like, hidden dangers and shit. I don't know. I live in the ghetto, so it's pretty normal for someone to have either some type of pepper spray, mace, or a uh, uh, knife or gun. Like, that's kind of somewhat normal. A lot of my coworkers have a gun tucked away somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Is the rest of this just muted? Why are they muting this? Start guy? that. But just go sit in the car. Yeah, no. the kid they can call dad so he can at least come over and be with his kids. Like, I assume they're going to have to question the kids that were out on the street. Phone and dad's just sad. Um, we were wondering, do you want us to go ahead and call dad so he can at least come over and be with his kids? And he's part of their life, I guess. We, I don't know. We got his phone number. The kid just comes and picks him up and hangs out with him. Good. Um, I'm 
start that. Just go sit in the car with her, start that, and get the report, and I'll, I'll get the victim's information for you. Also saying okay. Roller There's a roller skate right there by my car. Okay. I'm about to get it right now. Yep. Uh, it'll be the uh, cruise lights and the cruise button. Just turn lights off and the cruise button. All right. And all the fucking... I can't get over the fact that not only all the children, but all the adults on the street before this incident were like, yeah, she's just kind of a bitch. She, she does not have anything better to do. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, just cuts here. Okay. I'm, All right. I'm, I'm trying to understand. So this is the actual interrogation slash interview. The name of this one is A Racist Karen Realizes She's Going to Jail for Murder. <laughs> oh, no. Not out, kids. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm, I'm trying to understand that. Do you feel like you did something wrong here? I... I... I did what I felt I had to. I honest to God thought she was going to kill me. I mean, I, that's all I felt. I just felt that terror. I mean, it was sheer terror. To AJ Owens oh in front of the suspect's apartment with you a gunshot wound. You know she was going to pull that, but like, Jesus the Christ, There's man. no changing this. There's no I was so it. scared this lady was Don't knocking on my door. What? This is 58-year-old Susan fuck? Lawrence, a deeply disturbed racist Karen who's about to get punished for a homicide that is responsible for robbing the future of innocent little children. You shot at the door, is that correct? Yes, I shot at the door because she wouldn't stop. I told her to get away and she wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. 35-year-old hey, G.K. Chantrell Owens was a single mother of four, <laughs> living a peaceful life in Ocala, oh, no. Florida, and made a living working also, as a restaurant Florida. manager. She was loved by family and friends, as most considered her a selfless and loyal person. Although she was a single Why mom, the, the family's future seemed bright, Florida. as every aspect like, of their genuinely? life was perfect. However, this ideal life would come crashing down on June 2nd, 2023, when a cold-blooded killer would end up being oh, yeah, protected by the recent, law. Huh? Four children will never see their mother again. What exactly happened that drove a family to such a tragic yeah, fate? That's my thing, or, bro. more like, accurately, who is the one responsible for it? The answer <laughs> would be 58-year-old oh. Susan Lawrence, a neighborhood Karen who lived alongside a GK in a rental complex. Susan Lawrence was a well-known bully, harassing any tenant who came close to her property. She was often heard yelling and screaming and was disliked by most. But one of her biggest victims was the four children of Ajike Owens, aged between four and 12, whom Susan Fucking would fight with for allegedly 12, playing dude. in her yard. Right. Over there, harassing her, doing anything they're playing. Literally, like if anything, every time the police are over here because of If fucking anything, pick a fight with the parents. Because in my opinion, for most cases involving children, right? Any situations that we're dealing with an unrowdy child or a child who is not, who is not behaving correctly, I don't blame the child for that. I blame the fucking adult because it's on the parents or the lack of parenting there. Rules and boundaries need to be established, bro. Well, that's the thing, and I, I don't I, I hope they clear it up in this video. It was kind of mentioned in the previous video. Um According to the Karen here, the property manager told them they couldn't play in certain spots they were playing in, but according to the kids and some of the neighbors, the property manager said it was fine. I feel like the, the jurisdiction for that would go down to the property owner, right? So, like, if the property owner said it's fine, then you don't have a leg to stand on. You just don't. So be inside. They can be this dispute over a shared area for tenants continued to escalate for two and a half years. During this time, Ajike's children and Susan would get into several confrontations. However, with each argument, the relationship between the two families deteriorated rapidly, and Susan's antagonizing acts worsened daily. By December 2022, one such incident would show the kind of evil person Susan was. Oh, what? Um, I had my truck in front of the front door, so I didn't have to listen to the screaming and yelling. As soon as I moved the truck, the kids were coming up. I'm like, guys, stop. They know they're not supposed to be over here. They've been told one, two, times. Two. Five, 
kind of exchanging Mark things back and forth. I'm like, listen, my name is Dr. Don't tell him to shut up. And he's calling me names. I'm like, I kind of hate to a certain degree the whole respect your elders thing. Wherever you live. I feel like everyone does deserve a basic level of respect just as being living people, but at the same time, a certain level of respect I also feel can can be earned and, you know, that type of thing. The whole idea that you have to treat someone with more respect just because they happen to have been on the planet longer than me is so fucking dumb. You could be such a garbage individual but be older than me. According to this alibi, Ajike's children had once again trespassed on her else. yard, causing Susan to kick them out. This angered Ajike, who picked up Susan's no trespassing sign out of the ground and threw it in her general direction without intent to hit her. In reality though, this was nothing more than a grown woman bullying children, as Susan had purposely left out details to trick cops into arresting kids under the age of 12 for trespassing. All right, so let me just talk to you guys real quick, okay? Um, what kind of names is she calling you guys? Oh, I just the B word. The B word. The P okay. word, everywhere in the book. Like one time we were, well, the kids were playing right there, and it, it was his dad outside. And then she Who, came out dad? yelling. Cowboy? Yeah, my dad. Okay. She came out yelling, and she was talking about a little girl getting and stuff. Like she's crazy. Like okay. she'll come out just oh, yeah, yelling yeah. She about. She just says okay. weird. Okay. Like I have said stuff to her before because I one time I was just had happened to come outside, and she was calling them, and I'm like, hey, like relax. Yeah. I'm like these are kids here. The yard from which this dispute stemmed was in no way Susan's. Susan only rented out the building and had no rights over this grass field. Not Even the landlord land, was forced to Karen. step in in an attempt to end these conflicts. And you said you talked to the property manager about being in that spot? Ooh, right. Yeah, we, we talked to that guy right there. That guy? Yeah. Okay. yeah that guy that... I asked him today and he said, yeah, we can Yeah, he's home. always said that. He, he'll even come outside and play football with the kids or play okay. games with yesterday, the kids. And he says uh, it's fine. Yesterday, he was have to say, like, oh, if you don't have a fucking so asshole but fucking Susan neighbor found like this her, that's actually really smart. If you own properties and one of them happens to not have like actual, like a building on it, to just have it be like a communal plot where kids can play is actually really fucking smart. Keep them out of the street. Keep like a safe area where everyone knows that they kind of chill and hang out. I feel like that's actually a really good thing to have in the neighborhood. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on now, because that's better than being in the literal street. See, I live in the ghetto where we don't have extra land. <laughs> We barely have, like, backyards. So, when I say that people play in the street, when I'm talking about in, in my area, it's literally in the street. Which is not the safest thing. But, like, it's that or literally nothing. It's either your house or the street, so. Unacceptable. <laughs> the field was either hers or no one else's. And she had already made preparations to act if things went south. Prior city, to this interaction, land. Susan had begun fearing for her life. She purchased a Remington RM380, as allegedly the children were threatening to kill her, and what soon enough, fuck, man? she'd get her chance the to use it. 12-year-old was threatening to kill you, to or was it the 8-year-old? I'm the confused. <laughs> On June 2nd, 2023, two of Ajike's children, aged 10 and 12, were once again playing in the same grass field. At 8.54 p.m., a 911 dispatcher received a call from Susan reporting this trespassing. <laughs> Fact. Deputies Honestly, from the Marion County economy, Sheriff's Office were now mobilized and the call in lasted night. five minutes, ending at 8.59 p.m. Either before or during this call, Susan threw a set of rollerblades at the children which hit one of them on the toe, all the while calling them racial slurs. Jesus when the kids notified Ajike about this, she immediately ran over to Susan's house and began banging on her door, presumably seconds after the initial 911 call ended. Amidst the yelling and banging is so when Susan retrieved her RM380 from a trash bin. a child. I'm sorry. I'm one of those motherfuckers. If you as an adult throw something at a, at a child, that can that in my eyes is is very fucking close to actual assault. Like, you are meaning to do harm in some way. You're not that fucking stupid. You're not going to convince me otherwise. She threw something at a child... I don't, they haven't mentioned the tablet, but I know the tablet was part of it. She took the tablet, and then she felt threatened when the mom was knocking on her door to see what the fuck was going on. Like, huh? And again, from the neighbors and stuff, they heard knocking, they didn't hear yelling, they didn't hear anything else to kind of, like, push the narrative of, like, oh, she was gonna kill me, she was gonna harm me. No, bitch, she was knocking on your door, she was trying to see what the fuck was up. Like, huh? And in the corner of her house, aim the gun at the door just high enough to make sure it would miss any vital spots. And at 9.01 p.m., a single gunshot echoed throughout the neighborhood. 
going? 911 with dad just for the emergency. Oh my God, this lady just tried to break down my door. I saw it through the door. Oh okay, repeat that address for me to make sure I have it correct. <laughs> okay, what is your name? I love that they said okay, what's going on? Take a deep breath for me. Calm down. Name, including her middle name. Oh my name. God. And the last you said someone asked. tried to break down your door, is that correct? What? What? The woman was screaming and yelling and she was trying to break down my door. <laughs> okay, it was a female? Yes. I didn't know what to do. I grabbed my gun and I just saw that the door. I was like, what are you going to get me? <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, you said you shot at the door, is that correct? Yeah, I shot at the door because she wouldn't stop. I told her to get away and she wouldn't. She just said, she's saying it. She's saying it. That's what I'm saying. We literally are. By approximately 9.08 p.m., deputies arrived at the scene and discovered the victim Some with a gun wound on her chest. Some channels do that as it needs to hide certain things. Two of Ajike's children, a 10 and 12 year old, had gone with their mother to confront Susan. Tragically, they had to live through every single Jesus second of watching Christ. their mother desperately cling onto her life as deputies attempted to save her. While Susan was arrested, bitch. one major issue anything. remained. She could get away scot-free with everything because of Florida's Stand Your Ground law. This shit's Florida Stand Your Ground law states that Florida a person is justified no, in using up. or Florida got some crazy shit. Remember the last true crime stream, guys? That we were t there was a child involved, and I'm trying to remember the specific details. There was a child involved, and Florida's laws, because I could have sworn this was another Florida case. I could be wrong. Uh, Florida has a law where juveniles can be tried as adults or some shit. Like, what the fuck is going on in Florida? Threatening to use force, except deadly force, against another when and to the extent that the person drugs. reasonably <laughs> believes that such conduct is necessary to defend himself or herself or another against the other's imminent use of unlawful force. Susan was a master manipulator and knew about this law all too well. Now, it was up to the detectives to make her reveal her true You're intentions right, and prevent her from hiding behind a really law meant for self-defense, not That's for crazy. murder. That's um, so crazy, nothing that, that happened that night that you didn't remember at the time, or you just, like I said, there was a lot going on that you maybe didn't think to, no, to I say. I to tell you because I thought I told you everything. Okay. All right. So um, <clears throat> some of the things, like I said, we were just trying mm -hmm. to clarify. Uh, because we were in the room together for a while yes. talking and uh, we went over a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things I wanted to clarify with you is and try to understand better is uh, when Ajiko was at the door, um, when she approached the door, when was it that you realized that it was her coming to the door? Because um, I said, who's there? Okay, what did, how did you know someone was there initially? Was it because... It was a huge banging. Okay. They were just pounding at that door. Okay. So initially, it, there was no words, like it just, was just uh, the pounding? Yeah. That's what started yes. the interaction there? It yes. pisses and me off how calm she, she is where was after the killing pounding at someone. Initially, where it first began? At the front door. At the front door? Yes. Okay. How I don't many think times she necessarily she, meant to kill someone, but like, she, dude. Was it just like, like, it was, like one no, or no, no, several? It was just bang, bang, bang. Okay. I had like All right. and then you said, 12 bites of mac salad. You said, salad. Disaster, who's there? And okay. I had a few pieces and of what bread. what was said then? That counts as food, right, guys? Okay, I think she said, um, why are you speaking to my children this way? And I said, listen, I'm not going to speak to you. Go away. You know, if she had a problem, she should call you guys. You okay. know, honestly. I mean, if she really thought there was something seriously wrong, I don't understand why she just came over and just started pounding on my door and, you know, screaming and yelling. I didn't mean to do that. After, after you guys, go away. Go away, and then we got quiet for a bit, and then she started really panicking, you know, just pounding on that door. Guys, I didn't mean to do that. When she said, bit, who's there, my brain goes searching for nine seconds. Nine seconds or two minutes? Or <laughs> no! It was an extended period of time, probably 20 to 30 seconds, okay. easily. But at, during that time, you didn't hear anything else? Did you think she, that she went away? No, well, I obviously knew she didn't go away because she was screaming while she was pounding. Describe that. None of the scream, that none of the people at the scene uh, mentioned her yelling just, or getting loud. You're not supposed to speak to my children this way. Why did you, you know, and then she was saying, I'm going to kill you. This is, in what fact, a lie. The night the shooting <laughs> occurred, several lie. witnesses heard and saw the entire situation 
and this is what one of the neighbors had to say. So all I heard was knocking and then a gunshot. That's it. No one, no fighting, none of that. But you didn't actually see anything? No, sir. No? Okay. From this testimony and several others that were not recorded, it was crystal clear Ajike had made no death threats and said nothing which implied that she would kill Susan. This pattern of half-truths is something we'd see throughout this entire interrogation. In reality, <laughs> they are all a part of Susan's <laughs> sickening plan to save oh, herself. No. However, we'd only find out what exactly that plan is as detectives continue to speak to her. I'm like, holy shit. You know, and that's what my name did. <clears throat> well, when you said there was like the initial barrage of the pounding, mm -hmm. and you said who's there, and she said, you know, what, what you mm -hmm. said it, it, about not talking to her children that way. Yeah. Um, and then you said it got quiet. Mm -hmm. So there was no banging, there was no words being no. said. Because I thought she went away. That's what, that's what I was asking, basically. I'm sorry yeah. if I. If no, I, no, it's okay. I, I, I thought, all right, you know, she's just going to do whatever she wants to and do. And you said that was like 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah. And then was there, what, did she start yelling again first, or yes. was there more, more, more banging? It was, it was banging, it was yelling. I thought she was just going to break down the door. Okay. So, like, yeah, she's just, dumb as fuck. I don't, I was like, she, really, she really thought okay, that no so one was going to clock? Like when she first came up and started, where were you? Was she that when unaware she of the neighbor, the like, people on the you street, the, the children? Or did she just did think that they would the leave her over a child? approaching the door, and then she started Multiple children, multiple fucking neighbors. Okay. You know, because I figured if she came in, she would just absolutely, you know, pound me into the ground. All right, and then when it be became silent, that first after that first round of a beating on your door, what, where did what did you where were you at then? Did you go? Uh, I went to wash my hands, honestly. Okay. You know, because I didn't know who was at the door, and I wanted to know who the hell was at the door. Okay. You know, so I went back and washed my hands. Okay. So, so she that's took the a break during the time where it was kind of quiet, and yes. you thought that maybe she went away. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, when For the, the 30 seconds that she wasn't again, banging on the door, uh, what, boy, if you don't then? fucking stop this shit, it god damn it. Okay. okay. All right. And then what happened? And then she just kept banging and yelling, I'm like, you need to leave. You're trespassing. Get off my porch. You know, get out of here. You know, I'm not talking to you. Leave. Okay. Who else was outside the door besides Azure? No idea. You don't know? I have no idea. Where were the, the other kids? Because I know the kids had been over there. Um, prior was, to her coming over? Or? Yeah, they were right by the, um, you know, with the fences, and then there's a sidewalk. They were right yeah. beyond that sidewalk, inside where it's supposed to be no trespassing. Okay, no. so they were outside of the fence while she was banging on the door? I have no idea. Oh, you're not I, sure? I, I have no idea. Okay. You, no, you were asking when the kids were there earlier. Right, right, right. So, and I, the kids finally, you know, I went inside. I figured they left. So you didn't know where, who else was out there no, at that no time? Idea. Okay. So you went to the kitchen and she was still pounding on the pounding door and yelling. Room. And I know we've kind of gone over this a lot, but I want to make sure now we're getting more like in, in order of things because the, the first time we talked, it was kind of just like it all came out all at once. And, mm -hmm. and now that you've had a little bit of time to kind of think about things that happened again and, and try to get it in a good order that mm -hmm. things happen because it's very important to to be able to say, okay, this happened first, this is what happened next, so that we don't get them confused or anything. Okay. So um, after that initial silence where, well, not, I wouldn't say silence, but it got quiet, you you were washing your hands in the bathroom, mm -hmm. and then the pounding and the yelling started again, and you went to the kitchen. What were yes. you doing in the kitchen? Just I was looking for my phone. Okay. So, so I put my phone to, down somewhere, and I started panicking, and I started searching for the phone. And then she just kept banging and banging and banging. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. You know, get out of here. You know, so she's know, ranting and raving, according to her at this point. I, mean, I, was in the kitchen I have a feeling is bullshit the from, from what uh, was already said. From what was already and said by neighbors and the child. Okay, I couldn't leave. I couldn't it was like get she was knocking on the door. Crazy. Like, they didn't even so describe hard. it as banging. They described it as she was knocking on the door. I had, like, four pieces of, like, medium, small to medium-sized bread that had garlic on it. Herbs on it and stuff, and then I also um, had after I shot her, I, I just probably a quarter cup of uh, mac salad. I and, said, you know, and I, I had half a slice of cake before oh, the street. Where, where was your so. phone? That's my food it's for my tonight, mind. I think. I am a full boy right now. <laughs> okay. So, um, like, um, let me just understand this a little better because I'm, I'm not really sure. So, um, the woman that got shot, um, what is her name? AJ. AJ. Right, it's AJ. Yeah, okay, and how long have you known her? Uh, I really didn't know her. I just, you know, she was a neighbor across the street. 
Okay. So how long has she been a neighbor across the street from you? Help me understand that. Uh, a year and a half, two years. I hope okay. they let year and a half and two years. And in that year and a half and two years, um, how many times have you guys uh, been able to like, talk? They're like, nah, this is what happened. Like Yo, no, okay. let's okay. go. Right. So it. maybe better would we communicate. How many times have you guys been able to communicate in that year and a half or two years? For me. Two or three times. Two or three times. And in those two or three times over a year and a half and two years, well, um, what were you guys slime. screaming about? What were you guys communicating about? Lavender she would take her dog and look at under my sidewalk to make sure shit on the sidewalk. Yeah. Like, oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. You know, of all the places you can walk and take your animal, you're going to come here. And sure. She said, it's the only place my dog would go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm so like, No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So you guys would have a disagreement <clears throat> regarding that, some screaming regarding the dog pooping where it shouldn't. Uh, what else would you guys uh, communicate about in that two or three times? Okay, um, here's what I have to say. People do get weird about animals. Said, I'm not sure I'm I don't know if it was just a ghetto situation. I'm pausing it because whatever. But um, when Patches was alive, when we did have Patches, our uh, beagle dog, we would walk around with the actual like bags, you know, to clean up after when he went to the bathroom because you got to you got to take the dog out for a walk. Doggo need to go and walk. It's healthy and it's good and all that. We would go we would take our dog out for walks and you'd still have neighbors like pop out of the doors or pop out of their backyards or whatever or be on their porches and be like, "You better clean that up." But and it's like I've never left dog shit on your lawn, dog. <laughs> like it's never happened. So if you're going to be mad at someone, that shit is not me. <laughs> That is someone else. That was probably my biggest complaint when we had patches in terms of, like, upkeep. It wasn't the fact that he obviously went to the bathroom because it's good that they go to the bathroom. But it was having to deal with neighbors being stupid. Because, again, we would ne my family would never just leave dog poop on someone's lawn. We always had, like, bags or something to clean it up. So it always killed me when a neighbor tried to pull some shit because it's like, Never have we ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, the problem is you have one motherfucker that takes their dog out or lets their dog roam free and they ruin it for everyone else in the neighborhood because they're assholes. Like, people can't be bothered to pay attention or to even pretend to care when people take their dogs out and notice that they don't leave stuff behind. <laughs> but that makes it so much more frustrating for people just trying to exist in the neighborhood. Like, I, you know, um, no, you know. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. I woke up. I said, what is your problem? And she just went on a tirade. I have never heard someone scream like this woman. I was like, Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. And, I mean, she she exploded. And I'm like, oh, shit. How long ago was that? Uh, two months ago. Two, two months? Two, three months ago. And um, I do not believe she, she this woman. I'm sorry. All kinds of names. I do not believe that. Susan. No, I, I think Susan is a dirty, dirty liar, and, and she murdered someone. Saying this, I'll apologize and scurry away. What kind of things was she saying that you you called her kids? Uh, that I called them racial slurs. That I called them slaves. And that's never happened. <coughs> I mean, I, when she said, "I'm like, what are you? Stop already! Stop lying!" You know. And I was like, "Enough! What?" I did call the retards once because they just kept coming and coming. I said, are you retarded? You can't read the sign. The incident that Susan is referring to happened on <laughs> April 17th, <What> <laughs> two months prior to the shooting, what the hell? where Marion deputies were called because a GK's children were playing in a parking lot. They need to be trespassed the hell out of here. So what I'm looking at, where they're at, we can't, tr you can't trespass anybody from that location. Oh, yeah. The issue is, the is that just trespassing. Off. You can't over to come ask us a question. Regardless of what Susan says, the man is not trespassing and can't approach him. Because we were all playing here. You know, the kids, everything jumps. So, all right, let's go. And she's like, hey, you know what? One day you guys are going to die. Yeah, and I'm like, lot. and that's my, like, what's what? up, what's up? Just getting too much feedback, still chilling. Or... Can you sure. at least go someplace where he's not working? Like, I can't with that, bro. She literally said, like, can you guys just leave? Can you actually just leave? Because the cops didn't do what she wanted and yell at children. God fucking damn it. So, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, that's, uh, uh, well, you have a good one, apparently. You can't stand here and have a boy. This conversation would provide invaluable insight into Susan's narcissistic tendencies, where she manipulates information after becoming hyper aggressive in an attempt to make her seem innocent. <sighs> Yeah, we, we spoke to everyone in the neighborhood separately. Mm -hmm. there you um, go. I'm covering the one investigator. Was there other times when you fine. got frustrated or something with these kids <laughs> and you fine. said it's something fine. something else that we're not talking about? Is I that mean, better? Have you, have you said other words better? to them? Or, or something about middle fingers or something? Tell me about that. It wasn't that the kids. It was that the gentleman. 
Uh, who's Who's the, the who's the gentleman? Uh, I only know him by his. Who is the gentleman? So okay. So I. Uh, oh just, my god. He's a guy. He gets all the kids together, so they're screaming and yelling, and they're doing all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, stop already! And I asked him. I said, please stop. I don't like the yelling. I just you know, just so everything break down. No, take your time. What is, what is the crazy stuff that so like Pito even now she doesn't actually read is actually upset I don't know <clears throat> and he would come around the house I'm already not okay with her, her behavior so honestly the kids on the back no helmets no nothing and I'm like stop already the one time I went out there he almost hit me uh-huh. I was like ah missed you Jesus Christ really and I'm like I just can't deal with it I have an injury right now I have uh, aneurysm on my left kidney artery mm-hmm. if he hit me he'd kill me. So was it on was it on last Friday that you were kind of given him the middle finger? Then is that what I was understanding? Uh, I may have given him the middle finger because we were just out there and I took a picture and he's like, "Oh, go and take more pictures." I'm like, you know, because. Well, what other kind of crazy things is he having these kids do? Is it something where he's he would have them exercise and exercise and scream and yell, and the kids are like, "We're tired, we're tired, stop, we're tired." Is he like a coach? Or do what they the play sports or something? Wait, no what? Like, what what is she even move claiming? Get moving, and he just, what the he's fuck? Like, no, we want to stop. He's like, he can't stop. Is he the father of one of those kids that lived? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I don't know who he is. I just know that. And I what the fuck? Said, Please. This I random said, man just comes by and is like, no, nah, children, and scream. And scream and louder. Scream. Exercise. What? Wait, hold on. Huh? And she screamed. And so every time those little kids scream, I keep thinking of my friend Elizabeth. Tell me about that. Whoa. So, and I asked my sister, Peter, please, these kids screaming like this, it's, it's triggering me. I don't want to hear this, you know? Oh, like she has that. trauma. That is still, I'm it sorry, that's still like unjustified. Really? You pulled a gun I'm out. I, you know. It's not true. Until this there point, no there has been a clear way. correlation between the screaming children there and no Susan's harassment. Way. But why exactly this is triggering is something officers would only find out once Susan begins to reveal details of her past trauma. Guys, I fucking love Scott. This is kind of not really related to what we're talking about, but what what happened with your friend? Is that when you were very young? or Uh, 14. Oh, my God. So a guy came and hit her and he thought he killed her. And he bound her up. She was at Shulton Factory, uh, the Old Spice Factory in Jersey. Um, And next to it was a children's playground. And he buried her there in a shallow grave, and she wasn't dead. So when the uh, coroner said that there was all dirt in her lungs because she kept screaming, screaming, screaming. So every time those little girls screamed, it just kind of you know made me think of Elizabeth. Have you ever been a victim of any violence? I was going to say, how the fuck does that correlate? Describe that to me. No, wait, hold up. I'm very okay. Well, that definitely would cause trauma. Oh wow, how how does that story lead? Huh? So you knew the person that that ended up like d- getting assaulted and buried alive, and because she was screaming, you can't handle screaming. Okay, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but that sounds kind of bullshit. Like I could get like maybe being scared of being in certain areas alone because of that happening, but why would that directly correlate for you? Now, the, if you were assaulted and stuff, I could see how there are triggers there. Okay. That's for sure. And, and how like, long ago was that? Um started when I was four, it didn't stop until I was like 20. Okay. Jesus and, uh, Christ. Did, was New like, Jersey that's police true, or that maybe sucks, able to, like, but help you out with that, give you jobs or anything? I fucking Was that ever reported like, to law enforcement? Man, no, because I was big thinking. juice. Okay, so Whatever that was something the fuck that, that, that means. wasn't reported. Was this from a known family member or something? I worked Special Victims Unit for years. Okay, so this was from a known family member. Have you ever been a victim of um, some kind of violence from a random person or something like that? Yes. Uh, describe that to me. How many times has this woman been a gentleman, beat? a doctor up in uh, Michigan. Uh-huh. And Michigan. Was, you know, new full of the relationship and everything, and he got super drunk one night, and he uh, started beating She him. said uh-huh. super drunk, not So super that sounds high. like domestic violence, someone that mm-hmm. someone else that you were uh, associated with, and they did something bad to you. Was that, were you able to report that to New Jersey or whatever it may be? Were they no, able to arrest that, that man? Michigan. Michigan. Were they able to arrest him for anything? I never said anything. Okay. I was so embarrassed. Sure. Sure. Sure, that's you know, that's common. Kind of you know, yeah. I should know. I choose I mean, violence. As soon as he finished and passed out, I left. Okay. You know, it's got out of the situation. Never spoke to him again. Uh, have you ever been a victim of anything like um, robbery or, or anything like that before? Uh, in Jersey, yes. Okay. <laughs> Was were you like robbed like at a store, at a gas station, or like, described that to part me? of a lot um, of bad things? We were selling tools out of the back of my car for uh, some company. 
and we stopped at a stop sign with myself and two other um, girls who were going with me. Uh -huh. And they went through the car and just took everything. Who's they? Who did, uh, who did that to you? Um, I can't remember. It's a bunch of guys okay. that were in the neighborhood. You were able to get them reported? and they were We reported it, but they never found me. Okay. Did those guys ever harass you ever again or anything like no, that? No, because it wasn't where I lived. Okay. Have you ever been a, a victim of violence in at, at your home that wasn't someone you knew, a, a random person coming and hurting you or something like that? No. Okay. They have to answer Anyone's these questions. Anyone's ever broke into your house before in New Jersey or in, in Michigan or in Florida or anything like that? My doctor gave me physical sample without buying me a drink. House. That's so fucked no, up. In, uh, Here's the thing. Place. People do have Where's boundaries and stuff, yes. and this shit unfortunately does happen. There are a lot of people who are victims of various forms of assault. And I don't want to downplay any of that, but it just feels like she's grasping at straws to a certain degree. And I also don't see how a lot of that trauma and those experiences would correlate to someone's knocking on my door, let me whip out a gun. Like, you weren't unaware of the entirety of the situation. There's no way you're going to conf you're going to have me believing that. You knew who it was. You still decided to call the cops, then whip out your gun, then shoot her, then call the cops again. Like, yeah, what? And when you said they broke into, describe that to me. What um, happened? It was a bunch of young kids that my brother knew. Uh -huh. And he had a dirt bike and everything, so they stole his dirt bike and they stole some other stuff. Like, it sure. sucks if she really and, did and, go uh, through a chunk of this stuff. That if she really was fucking assaulted from the age of fucking Due four to the nature to 20, of the events described here, Susan is highly likely to have developed an intolerance to loud noises, which would explain her outbursts of anger whenever the children approached that her home. Justify you whipping a gun this could out. be something related to misophonia, a disorder which is not yet officially recognized, but can result in violent and non-violent outbursts due to trauma like the one we see with Susan. We would only find out the extent to which this trauma affected her at a later stage of the investigation. For now, officers are far more interested in the details like, of the shooting and begin to probe deeper into her story. Of how loud and and kids describe to me, I, um, I keep saying kids will be kids, but AJ, noise sensitivities are a thing, and um, noise you, triggers are definitely. You've only had these arguments with her a few times, but, but what I'm confused about is that uh, we're talking about her uh, banging on the on the on it three there times, no and then there's a pause, way. and there's everything else you just described in Detective Stiff. And you said that this was the time that she was going to come and kill you. That, that's and confusing to me because be it sounds like you guys really didn't she, have she ever any has, other times that she was going to come and kill you. She was seeking out any type of therapy I mean, for the trauma she has been through. She was saying, I'm going to kill you. That's an issue okay. that she has. That's, that's if she has like gone through these things and she has So I'm trying to get into your mind and I'm trying to be brought to that moment to how you, why you believe that. And we were talking, you were in the bathroom, then you were in the kitchen. I mean, I know that she's saying something and you're inside your house. And she's on the other side of that wall and that door. Were you able to ever see her to see if she had anything in her hands? There's no peephole. Right? There's no peephole. Thanks. Okay. Were you able to look through a window or anything to see if she had anything in her hands or anything? Okay. So you don't know if, if what's going on, but you can hear her voice. Yes. And and you said that she's hitting the wall hard enough that was it the door? The mirror. The, 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 that the mirror is moving. Yes. And she's hitting the door. She's hitting the door. Okay. Um, <laughs> the and. Voices. Uh, the there's hell? no peephole or I anything like that. You don't know who all's out I'm there, but you so can hear much her voice. Screen. Can I okay. go down a little bit? Um, guys? What Please. made you I'm feeling very shoot objective that spot right on now. the door? It sounds like you had some experience with the gun, so describe. Honestly, bring me to that moment. Where, where, I, what I, happened? I, I grabbed the gun. I was shaking like a leaf, and the more she bounded, the more what she What do you mean, no? I'm going to go to the side just a little bit. You can still see boobas. There you go. You can still see boobas. I'm going to kill you, and that was the last time, and I'm just fine. I just feel like it was kind of way too Okay. Real. Was there a spot you picked or something like that? I just kind of, there was the door. I knew she was at the door. So since the last time you and I talked, I, I, I went in the house, we, you know, did, did the stuff inside the house as far as photographing, mm -hmm. looking at where everything is at related to what, mm -hmm. where, where the door is. <clears throat> and you said you were, you had shot from the kitchen. So when yeah. you come in, it's kitchen like a table. kitchen table, table. The table that's there, the, the two seats with the uh, table. Okay. That's where I shot from. That's where you shot from. Okay. Um, like right next to it? Yes. Or like further back? It was... <clears throat> I remember the table being there. Okay, how were you holding the gun when you fired it? Like With that. two hands? Yeah. Okay. Like they now, have to ask all these boring questions. You were initially in the kitchen when um, well, you went to the restroom like and then you were in the kitchen looking for your phone she's lying while she was pounding on the door. And you said that this is really the end between they're just like, so five minutes. This was that total didn't time happen. before Try again. from when the first pounding started to the time that you fired the shot, two to five minutes? Or do you think it was shorter time than that or longer? To me, it seemed like two to five minutes. Two to five minutes more, total. Well, by the time I shot the weapon, at least five minutes. Okay. Did she ever try to open that glass sliding door? 
door or open the door handle or anything like that, or was it just the pounding? I, I just remember her pounding and pounding and pounding. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I just, so I can't get over how calm she is. And yes, that could be shock. But like, given the everything point, we know, I doubt it's shock. She's just so fucking so like, it's eerie. Said, I, I might need you this, you fucking or, murdered someone. I mean, I got terrified. Like, at this point, I think I mean, she just so knows that she left her in critical in condition, but okay. goddamn, so you, you shot area, someone. Yes. And that's when you went to your bedroom? Yes. Okay. Where was the other gun at that time? Do you know? I thought it was right there. The Ruger? I thought the Ruger was right there. I mean, we found, yeah, it was, but... You used the. You said that you used the uh, the 380, right? Yeah. When you fired the gun. Okay. Um, is there any reason why you chose that gun inside the other one? They were it's both the loaded, that, right? They were both loaded. That was just the one I picked up. Okay. Did you handle the other gun at all? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Honest to God, don't remember. Okay. Because the, the reason I asked is when we went in there, the 22 was actually on top of the the 380. So, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how it how it is that you, you you know, you went in there, took the 380, fired the 380, went back, and you would have put it back in there, but then the other gun was on top of it. So I'm just trying to figure out if, if maybe, you know, you're just moving stuff around when after things happened or something I, fell. I, I'm just trying to understand. It may have fallen off the bed. I don't know. I just remember looking for my phone, and I just remember I put the, the gun back in. So, it, you know, there's all kinds of papers in there, so it could have flip-flopped. Is that an actual, like, do you use it for trash? Are those important papers no, those that are, were in those there? Those are papers that I keep. Okay. All right. So <coughs> you said it was about, let me ask you this, and maybe this can kind of help us get a good, better time frame. From the time that you called 911, these kids are on my property again, they're yelling, make, you know, what happened that first 911 call? Mm -hmm. That time that you hung up with 911, how long before she showed up and she was pounding on the door I after you hung up? To the purple pumpkin ten eaters is coming okay. to eat. Oh, so about you ten motherfuckers. After you disconnected and they said, hey, we have deputies on the way. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes after that what is when hell? she started pounding on yes. your door. Like, this is okay. boring time, so. Um, and you say, anywhere well, from other you bullshit from two is she to five going minutes. to pull out of her ass? Um, is there. And I just want to be clear, two to five minutes from the first time she pounded to the time where you, you felt in danger and enough to pull the trigger. Yeah. Okay. And how many times, I know this is, uh, how many times do you think she was hitting your door um, during that, that time frame that you, you believe is about two to five minutes? The detectives or interrogators are doing a really good job, though. You so... Just what the fuck? Screaming, what the fuck, what the fuck am nothing? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus I, I Christ. Believe. Oh my god. I cannot. I, I can't even speculate. I just remember her pounding and pounding and screaming and yelling. <laughs> okay. Um, and did you call 911 immediately after? As soon as I found my phone. Okay. How much time do you think after you sh fired the shot? Two seconds. So within a, minute, within a minute, and you yes. immediately called nine one. Yes. Did you call anyone else before? No. Nope. Did you call anyone else after? Um, no, I don't think so because you guys were here. I mean, you, you guys came right away. Okay. So. Okay. What's with the what's with the the racial statements that ever, everyone's saying that you made? I mean, have you ever used the N word and they're using it against you? Have you said it in passing or something? I have no idea, but I it could have been I was speaking Hungarian and instead of English. What the fuck, it's bitch! So what? That is Hungarian? such a cop out. Is there my father was Hungarian, my mother was Polish, so we spoke. What the hell? Hungarian. And I don't use DVR. Okay. Actively. And is is there? Have you ever spoke Hungarian to these kids or anything like that? Yeah, and they looked at me and they said, "Stop making up your you know language." These are also like lies. She's still as trying neighbors to make often stated to be that they overheard victim. Susan yelling slurs oh at the children, my God. and especially on the night of the incident, she was heard yelling I racist remarks. With this bitch. So like, we're just trying to figure fuck? out where I, uh, some of these. Uh, just you know, we heard that you said the F word and the B word. Is what the kids soul. are saying. That, like like the fact, oh, it's so manipulated. Okay. What are you? What are you saying? The F word too. Oh my God! You gotta talk about how you called them the N word. Uh, referring to stuff on the ground or something. And, and when Actual you say the B children. word, what are you what are you referring to that? Who are you talking to? What are you saying when you use that, that language? B word. Yeah, which I'm assuming is bitch, but I don't really know. Have okay. You, have you said that word to them? I don't remember. Or the bastard, possibly bastard. I don't 
it could have been either one. Yeah. Are those uh, words that you use like when you're outside around the kids or something like that? What the fuck? Uh, if they're, I guess if they were really annoying me, I may have let one slip. Okay. And how would they really annoy you? Like just screaming. Okay. Would scream. The screaming. Children and scream. and oh. that would maybe let one slip. Oh, she's the okay. adult. That's what this um, is. But the girls would they would do something so stupid. I've never seen anything like this before. They would go face to face with one another and see who could scream louder. Yeah. Five feet outside of my door. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So call the cops. I'm like, if it really annoys us, you even even record the noise levels and then call the cops because then you can show them this is a Um, thing that's happening. So, like, what the fuck? Detective Stiff has been uh, talking to you about the timeline. Okay. And some of the work we've done. Now, this is a picture that I draw. I'm not an artist Mm -hmm. at all, but. I, when I tell you some of the work we've done, I, we spoke to um, all the people over here. This is your house, by the way. Okay, this is, this is what we're going to ask for you. Um, we spoke to everybody in these buildings. We spoke to them all in these buildings. And um, we talked to anybody that had cameras that would see different areas. These cameras, they, they hear things. I don't think it do, though. I don't think it do. Everyone will be interviewed. I, I pretty much got to the same card, the though. Well, we I mean, I was speaking in Hungarian. Uh, we lined up and lined them up. These people were interviewed in different locations. Some of them were interviewed in different buildings and different places. I interviewed them at different houses, and all these people provided me similar statements. Okay, no one in that provided these. Now these people could hear her talking. Okay, because she was talking loudly. I, um, you you said that you could hear it through the wall, and I can yes. agree with that. Okay. Um, I, she made a statement, something to the effect of, um, um, why did you take my kid's iPad? Okay, somebody heard her say that. I never it, touched an iPad. I never saw the iPad. I don't yeah. know what this iPad is about. A tablet or something I like had, that? Again, you? no tablet, no iPad, no electronics at all. It was sure. never there, or at least I never saw it. Okay. So I, I have no I idea. Was she, she maybe she's wrong, but was she asking you about a tablet or accusing you of something with a tablet or an iPad? I think we've seen so far mentions tablet. that uh, a tablet she put up? was taken. Okay, you seem unsure of some of the stuff she's saying through the door. Did she say, you're not really sure if she said that? She could have said it during her rants. Okay, um, uh, so I, she's she's saying these things. The thing is, is uh, everything that we've learned so far, um, I have not learned of her ever saying to you that she wanted that that she wanted to get into the house. It sounded more like she wanted to talk to you outside of the house. It, how would it, how do you want to talk to you outside the house when you're banging and screaming? Yeah, that's not reasonable. One of the people fruit. said that she said, "Come outside." That's not. I'm sorry. Come that's out. Not what? It's not reasonable to fruit. I mean, no. you just don't. You know, bang and expect someone to come up. Yeah, I That's think I'll come outside. So right. Interesting. Fucking terminology there. It's not reasonable. Well, I, I, I know. I, I mean, it, seriously. What she's, what she's learned, what I'm learning, what these people said is that she was saying to come outside. She wanted to confront you about something. She wanted you to come outside. Um, I'm do you remember her making still. statements and asking so you to come out there and talk to her? Sound. Okay, so you don't remember that, and work you seem unsure about some of the statements she made about the tablet. Keep it safe. And no like one that we've interviewed so far has made any statements like a really about good her saying she wanted to kill you. It was such a cheap. They were party um, favors. What I heard. It was like one of my best okay. purchases ever, and it was I, only like two bucks. You said you were so in fear and you're shaking. Is your memory affected like regarding this incident in some way? I came with little alien toys. I gave them the moon, though. This translation, iPad was up going to fucking murder you. This is the exact moment that Susan realizes she's been caught red-handed. There were no threats made, and Ajike was only an angry mother, not a crazed killer. Additionally, the iPad being mentioned here is one of the belongings the children left in the field after they ran off to tell their mother about what happened. Witness statements indicated that Susan picked up the iPad and refused to return it. Her son, early in the night, uh, when I, before I called the police, her, uh, I don't know how old he is, but he said, you know, make sure you get killed tonight. Which son? She has two sons. I know. Um, I, I can't remember. It was one of her sons. But he was there, and he's like, oh, I'm going to make sure you get killed. I'm going to sh- make sure that, you know. And I'm like, well, The 12 year old? Has, this, has, has no. this person ever showed you no. a weapon or anything? The fucking 12 year old? You're scared of the fucking 12 year old? Free Candy Crush live she had to. That's <laughs> fucked up. This bitch is really trying to pull the I was scared of the 12 year old card. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What are you talking? Because you- they said that her children were from the ages of 8 to 12. Yeah, that was questionable. <laughs> I, I didn't even touch that yet because I'm still processing. 
I was just processing the whole bitch you're threatened by a 12 year old. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, yo, what the fuck? YouTube bad, bad YouTube. <laughs> bad YouTube. No. <laughs> but uh, I mean, the, the little kid said it, and then all of a sudden his mom's coming over, and she's banging and screaming. Oh my god! Does, I can't. Now I asked you this earlier. You said you, you can't see out there, but you've only seen her a few times. Mm -hmm. What Fucking means god does she have to, to to harm you <laughs> through the wall? Uh, she, like I said, she was banging so much, everything was shaking. What and the fuck? Now that's now that house. I. I which I, I couldn't believe because it's a cement block house. That was my next question. So it's a cement block house, and the door, the deadbolt was activated, right? The deadbolt was activated, okay. right? Okay. And you I just didn't have the chain lock? And the slime has so many good bubble say, pops. I remember I didn't have the chain. It's crazy. I'm not quite sure if I had the deadbolt. I need to find, I think okay. my sword ran right out of it, but if I ever see pop-up on the shelves, I might take a picture. Just to it's the really, door to it's like a mix between a glossy slime and a water slime, so it has a stretch. And it has like a, a poke. I don't know how to describe it. It's got a so stretch to that's it that what makes I'm, it really so good. Yeah, the deadbolt's box. activated. The door's closed. It's a block house. Um, I'm just trying to understand what made you so in fear of this woman if you have these things between you. When we had spoken yeah, previously the uh, other time when we, she screamed at me and I finally acquiesced, I said, whatever you want, I'm so sorry. She followed me up right behind me up mm -hmm. until I went into the house. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, she gave me the creeps. What? What? Why? What was what happened during like that? Just, incident I don't know. Followed, it's just it's eerie how she's behaving. She said, "Don't be cool, my Because it's so nobody. It's it's everyone else's fault but her own, and she's the victim. And a slave or something stupid like that. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Yes, I'm sorry. You know, you know, I, I apologize. And I finally said, I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna leave this alone. I don't need, you know, to get. Guys, I want to get a street. mic for possible ASMR. Just to kind of goof around with. Kids and, what mic should I get? I was doing research and I could not find like a consensus. How far did she follow? Like right up to I have a Hyper X mic. I don't know if that would be good for ASMR. Okay. Not weird ASMR, just like actual sounds. She probably just went away. Okay. And how long ago was that? That was like a month or two ago. Although, if after the, I've been on T for a minute, I'm more confident with, uh, with my voice. Had, that that could uh, definitely be something I'd reach into. No, I like some person. ASMR. Okay. It's usually specific uh, sounds. Was, I don't like a lot of the vocal was, ASMR, was, like actual yeah, talking. Right the, the, um, you had because, again, the kids were over there. But certain the sounds either there. directly on the mic or like next to the mic. They just tickle the right parts of my brain. Where were you at when you had that conversation? Where she started following you, where were you? I don't know. I'm genuinely excited to see how my okay. voice changes after I'm on like tea. Which probably the whole tea thing is not going to probably start until okay. for another month at least. Okay. I'm going to wait either a month or two because I'm trying to build up some type of savings because it is going to cost money out of pocket to get it all set up and done. But hopefully, the goal is within three to six months being on tea. Okay, but she didn't. There wasn't any threats of physical violence then, and. You said, well, um, why would you, if the conversation yes, is over, why would you still pursue someone? Yes, yes, I mean, yes. Well, she's, you guys will well, definitely she's notice still a, a difference well, she's still in my voice. No, she just, she just she she just a definite talking. change that like, will happen. You know, at any point in time, she <laughs> Hopefully, that's the goal. Do something. I was like, oh my God. And I just, I didn't want to tangle with her anymore. Mm -hmm. Um. And was it only her kid that you called uh, a slave, or was there other kids in the neighborhood? I figured if I'm not still like, oh, I'm sorry, happy, you said you said voice, sorry for like, it. I can do voice, sorry voice, because I I can do voice training to, to also situation. help with certain things, but okay. So uh, you I'm told her that, to that, that you did say that, but you're saying that you were saying it to defuse the situation. Yes, absolutely. So have you ever called any of those kids? Never called them a slave. Never. You never said anything about this not being an underground railroad. <laughs> oh no! Like that. Was oh no! Oh god! We so well, it'll sound clearer, and it probably will definitely not be that deep. <laughs> it is clear that whatever Susan says cannot be trusted. But why is she going so far to lie? What is she planning to do by twisting the narrative so heavily? Fortunately, detectives know the answers to this already, and they're about to confront Susan with it. Um. All right, that's new to me. 
I mean, it's completely new to me. I don't oh, know, shit, like, are they actually going to start telling her you're so, bullshit? So, Susan, I'm, I, I'm looking at this from the outside here, and, and <laughs> this really is not bad enough to me. I don't, <laughs> you used fuck, the word reasonable yo? and prudent earlier. That's an what interesting series fuck? of words to use. Um, that's like I've a only been series in a stupid of form on screen for 20 minutes. This is bullshit. Um, and there's a big jump here that you're making logically that doesn't, I can't seem to make the jump. I'm having a really hard time getting there. You, you've, you've known this woman for a year and a half to two years. Your only communications were Why two to three times. Why do more slimes not actually were, good? She, the real dog's question, pooping, guys, and then there was another the time where you right called now, her, like, she, you said, so I'm easy. sorry about calling your like, kids names. Like, quite honestly, they don't have to smell like cancer. You, you they sell essential oils. You just she's mix it into the slime. She's never threatened you. She's never displayed a firearm towards you. She starts yelling on your patio area, banging hard on your door, which your door is locked, and and then you... This you're shit scared. smells like. I wish now, we had you're smell that you're scared, which, This shit smells like. Okay, I can, I can get to that. I can get to that point that you're scared. There's someone knocking but on your door. But then other ones smell like straight oh, fucking cancer. Pounding. pounding. There's someone pounding, pounding on, on your door. On your right. There's someone pounding on your door. I, I, they're pounding on your door, and I can't get to the point where pounding on the door leads to your leads to you being hurt or killed. I, I don't. I can't get. Because I thought she was going to break the door down. The door, you could see that it was all repaired and re-repaired mm -hmm. and all that crack like that. So I never felt that door was secure. You have an extended deadbolt, and you've never been in any kind of violent situation where someone's kicked in your door or, or like Kool-Aid man through your entire wall. You've never, we, there has not been that situation. So I'm, I'm trying to do the reasonable and prudent, I'm trying to come into your Understood. shoes there. And it's, I'm having a hard jump there because describe to me, AJ, what does she look like? Um, tall black woman, um, heavy set. Okay. Does she have um, a very um, muscular? We've only you've only known her for a year and a half. You only had so many communications. I mean, is she is she like a muscular person that's able to like I don't know do st extreme feats of strength? And does she weight train in her front guard? Help me understand this. I, 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 I that's what I'm trying. I'm having a hard time he's, with he's this. Not being he's, he's just trying yeah. to understand yeah, I'm how just, we got from the point of. Someone creepy. Your door she's to, she, but to get to, she's gonna. I kind of swore she also looked up standard ground I, I laws. Didn't they already I can't say get that? There. I don't understand. Do they what actually if, show like was, exactly what she's looking up or why she's looking up? What if the police officer had like already arrived and she is loud and she's still yelling, and now the officer's standing in front of the door and he does some knocks, but she's still on that door patio yelling. And hey, shooting, why you, you like this? See, there's no peephole, there's no window, there's nothing, and Guys, then you here's shoot. A, here's a, here's and what if the door officer was on the other side of the door? Here's you see what I mean? And, and obviously she's still running, she's still running her mouth, she's still going. You'd think they but know how to you don't know what's on the other side of that door. Would have introduced I, I sure hope so. I mean, and, 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 and that's that's what some of the issues are that I can't I can't get there, and I don't understand entirely what was going on in your mind, and I don't I don't see how. That is entire. Were you on alcohol or anything like? I gotta ask these questions. Were there anything in your mind that would in, impair yourself in your judgments? I took Delta with you earlier in the day. What is what, what is that? that? Do? Um, what is that? It was from my back. So okay, it's a pain? is that a narcotic? I'm yes. not. I'm not a muscle relax. I'm guessing here. No, I'm it's a um, it's a pain reliever. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Reliever. I guessed it right. And does that have like something on the bottle that it would? It sounds it's, somewhat it's familiar. I wonder if it's one of the okay. ones my dad's. Okay. Does that like it. don't don't occupy, like don't use motor vehicles? Oh, the like slime queef. Do How does it make you feel? It just makes me sleep. Okay, the Nickelodeon it's slime queef. What is it called? So there, at least there's that. D E L D U C K. Okay. Does that have to do with your artery um, issue in your kidney? No, I have a simple boy. <laughs> so I had a fusion in my lower back. It's just like the I'm worst kind of fucking texture. <laughs> like it's not mm -hmm. a really a slime, it's and more of a putty. And even then so the texture's just kinda of gross. Yeah! I can make the slime fart. And uh, do you have um I have issues the power. with any kind of uh, previous from the car accident I have to ask? A head injury which would impair your memory or affect your memory or anything like that? I think I hit my head on the steering wheel in the accident. Also, okay. it's supposed to be Do you be suffer dented time with spatial memory issues where you can't remember certain amounts like of time and things like that? Like and the reason that I ask that is you have indicated kind of that this was somewhere between like five Off to ten brand minutes or cleaner, something. Not like even like right actual instant. pine salt. Okay. Um, from the cameras that are that are that we've looked oh, at in the area here, I this incident did not last for five to ten minutes. Okay. Now I. Uh, from the people that we this spoke to, there's aspects of this that I can agree about. She's talking loud. She is. She's banging on that door. We're going to agree with that. But the actual number of knocks, you did three knocks, and then you said there was a pause. 
I you, never said three. Well, well, you said bang, 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 and then she stopped, which I, I counted three. Now, okay. if, if, if it was something really different, you can tell me. I'm just I, I was remembering earlier. You said bang, 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 there was three, then she stopped, and then she continued to, and then what happened happened. Mm -hmm. Nothing has led me to believe as an investigator that it was like five to ten minutes, okay? Okay, maybe For, it just seemed like it was longer. With this information, a reasonable conclusion can be made. Susan knows about Florida's Stand Your Ground laws, and there would be indications further along in the interrogation that she even researched it prior to the shooting. This would explain why there are so many inconsistencies in her alibi, and why the detective pointed out Susan's use of the words reasonable and prudent. If her entire alibi is taken at face value, then she would most likely get away with the murder. But these detectives have already started dismantling her lies, piece by piece. Okay. Yeah, probably because, you know, the adrenaline rush and just Stupid bitch! So upset and... Sure. Whenever adrenaline comes in, it can make things seem like they stretch out. From some of the other uh, statements we've got, some of the things that we've learned, um, it sounds more like there was three knocks and then there was three more and then she was shot. It sounds like this was very quick. It sounds like this was like within a span of less than 20 seconds is what I would say. Is it possible that, you're, that your time is off on this? That is such a difference. Okay. That five to ten minutes, only like three knocks. Time. That's so slow. Okay. So, yeah, but so that wasn't the if, case, I mean, if this is if this Literally is like less than a minute. Where, what's being described as a twenty second, Jesus this is a brief Christ. encounter. It's a brief encounter with loud banging, with loud yelling. Um, the statements that some of the statements that you're say, you're saying occurred, like um, I'm going to kill you, and, and those kind of threats. No one else has heard you. No one else has heard her make those statements. Okay. Okay. I'm worried that some of the prior experiences you've had in your life that we've talked about today, they are traumatic experience, s sexual violence against you um, when you were a kid. And they are. All like, I'm trying not to not downplay that. It's just that I don't see how they correlate There's something going on in your head. Are you not sure about some of the things we've talked about today? Regarding some of the things you're saying that Dude, you heard, is it possible she never like threatened these, you at all? These oh, yeah, investigators are doing such a good job. She said, I'm going to kill you. I mean, that's why I, I just panicked. As soon as those words came out of her mouth, I was like, Jesus Christ, she's going to kill me. Okay. And how did you imagine yourself being killed? Remembering that there's that block wall, that door, how was she going to be able to do that? What makes you well, think that she was able to do she that? She was still pounding, but that, that she could have come right through that uh, glass wall. I mean, the glass door. I did, mean, well, we so talked about pounding on the door. Did she ever pound on the glass wall? Is it a window or wall? Help me. It, it's doors. It's um, um, sliders. Glass sliding door. Yeah. Did she pound on that? She may have. I don't know. All I kept thinking is she's going to gain entry and she's going to kill me. And, and that's why I asked you earlier if you recalled um, if she tried to. Uh, was that door locked? The sliding glass door? Yep. Does that say? Do you have like a anything? I, on I that? had. Um, um, I think there was a wood piece in, in the slider. Yeah. Okay. She and has such a you don't recall role. if she I tried just, that uh, door. I, I, I do feel bad for her past traumas and you know, know, what she's been through, but that doesn't just, justify fucking just killing someone. Screaming, yelling, it just and, doesn't. You know, I felt like she was going to come through that door. And I think Detective Pender touched on it. Like it, it, in your head, what you know during the panic, during all, all these thoughts, how what did you feel that was going to happen? And she's going to come in there and beat the shit out of me until I was dead. Okay. I mean, that's what I felt. I mean. I don't understand why she came over my house. If there was all these issues and problems, why don't you just call somebody? You know, that's to me, that's what you would do if you're normal. You know, that's if normal you're normal, you bitch, you whipped out a gun. You yeah. whipped out a fucking okay. gun. You know, what are you talking about? If you're normal, you know, I'm motherfucker, I'm you're not normal. normal. What are you talking about? You threw something at a yeah. child. I mean, honestly, I felt she was going to kill me. To put things into perspective. Susan had ended her oh, call reporting the children at 8.59 p.m. Oh, the gunshot was heard at 9.01 p.m. This means she is That's very evidently exaggerating the time frame this occurred in an attempt to incriminate Ajike. Further evidence from the crime scene would also indicate that things occurred far differently than what Susan stated. I, I just, I just, I'm having a really hard time making this jump here that this unarmed <laughs> you are person not on the other side of the wall <laughs> Game, um, recognize this game, except is, is I'm the gonna, fresh kind of not normal. You are just broken. You. I'm just really having a hard time getting there. I've been doing this job in as a homicide investigator you need help. For, for several well, years. Say, everyone should seek I, help. I've everyone seen houses issues, that are made like, out of it, you, like, you, pretty much, oh pretty much paper machine. No, I'm not okay? even using game Doors recognize this so game. Thin. Like I have the tism and other things going on. You, like, dear woman, oh my God, you have some weird kind of trauma shit happening. 
I just I just Seek don't help. I I've, I've seen cases Seek before help. where there is an angry spouse and say, I'm let me back in the house you can't throw me out and they'll they'll kick the wall as hard as they can and they're not getting in some of these some of these doors open inwards outwards I don't, I don't know which way your door opens which which way does it open is it it opens it opens outward I think it opens out okay so it, it opens in. inwards. It opens inwards. Yeah. Okay. So you know they work on these doors and, and they're not even able to make entry and they just they yeah. just give up. Okay. And mm -hmm. I I'm really I having a hard time brother. understanding like how money. you if you could go back in time would you not do I what you like did? I would like to eventually would you, possibly would you take go it back and, and I don't know the future. wait another I don't hour, even know how long it's for to get diagnosed. there. I I I'm. I'm trying to understand God, that. Would you feel like you did best. something wrong here? Crazy slimy cake batter slime is like my favorite slime. It is big chungus, but it's got like a bunch of sparkle, or not sparkle, sprinkles in it. And it smells like fucking cake. It smells like vanilla. It's so good. This is the shit I would have tried to eat as a child. Like, dead ass. First of all, I looked at the door. We processed the door just to see what areas might have been touched by AJ. Um, I looked at the door frame where it had been oh, repaired. It looked like there was a type of putty. Tell or me I'm not autistic. Your fucking husband separated. is diagnosed autistic, and he has said that I'm autistic. The um, the uh, <laughs> strike plates game, were in there pretty fast and pretty <laughs> securely. The bottom lock, uh, just the doorknob lock, mm -hmm. um, and even with the door closed. I stood on the outside. There were no indentations, no uh, no uh, dents in the door anywhere that I could, that that I could see. I don't really think and so. I pounded on the door. The benefit pretty, is you, can, you have a piece of paper that says that you have autism, and there you can, no I guess, use it if you need to use it. In the U.S., I don't think it really helps with not, shit, because here's the thing. To take away I would like to stay employed and not have to deal with any extra bullshit. Because I think that that is a legitimate situation What the fuck, you boy? But to justify to go from being scared to a point where you're telling me I don't come off as an autistic? force um, tell me I don't someone have some of those traits. On, a, on the other side of the door I'm gonna bring Endo in here for like two seconds that's a that's a big jump and I think that's where detective mm -hmm. Fender is it could have been a, a could have been a, one of the kids standing there or something but it was Ooh. her standing there I mean I heard her voice sure but some people don't talk they're but, but more quiet regardless yeah. of, of that that fact as I was saying to go from that and, and I didn't even have the Chunky any slime. locks and I'm pounding on it and yes yeah. The, the, there were our forensic technicians were inside looking, and yes, so they literally looked at the fucking door. But they also stated, "Oh my god, the door didn't Why seem did like it was going to move." Wait, hold on. Why do you need to move? The door unlocked. What the so, fuck? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? And that's why it's hold important up. for us to go hold through up, these brother. things to try to determine. Um, you know, to try to put ourselves in your position in your you mind mean? at that time as much as possible. Oh um, but to get that, help us try to understand that a little bit more. To get to that point from um, Dude, it's a fairly a secure door, because like he said, it's true. We've we've gone to some of these trailers where of you slime. can pretty much push the door open. Thick and, slime. And, and that's it's not a that's secure, not your house. Your yeah. house is pretty secure. That landlord did a good job, uh, I guess, keeping everything secure. It looked like it was everything was good. With this, there is reason for detectives to believe that Susan is the one at fault beyond a shadow of a doubt. What is left so is to get either a verbal confession or a contradictory statement from Susan to determine whether this was a premeditated murder that used the Florida Stand Your Ground laws as a cover-up. I'm finally that I probably should have been diagnosed with or looked at when I was a child. I'm gonna be honest, the last fucking two years have been very right. eye-opening for so, me in terms of how I take in information, how I take in things, and how I process situations. My it feels in. stupid because <clears> I'm now <throat> how fucking old and it, this is Turn now just like little, actually like hitting um, me and I'm realizing things that I feel like I should have since I was your, 13. Like but we were talking earlier. Yeah. Um, you had I don't mentioned care. the words and I asked you to repeat it because I wanted to make sure I heard you correctly. You had mentioned um, uh, terminology like reasonable and prudent mm -hmm. uh, in reference to. Um, how she was, how AJ was re acting at mm -hmm. your door while she was trespassing and everything. Where did that come from? That terminology is that uh, watching TV. Watching TV. <laughs> okay, like uh, documentary stuff or like what? Do you, um, that Facebook shit. Stuff. That good shit, time brother. Shows? Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and he, I, I have to ask you this: Is um, have you done any research on like the laws as far as like in Florida? Uh, self for as far as self defense and things like that. I looked at it today. You looked at it today. When I was on um, Facebook, 
Literally that same day. Facebook. <laughs> it was literally Facebook. Describe that. What, what did you specifically, what, what you were reading about and learning about? This motherfucker oh, was literally reading things. about stand your fucking Basically, ground laws on Facebook. That same goddamn day. emails um but i just remember saying self-defense and it was a bunch of lawyers and stuff like that so what the prior fuck? to today even the last time that you and oh, i okay. spoke so this on the day of very early saturday that morning, makes sense. um you would use some of that same kind of terminology in describing the situation that occurred at, at, the, at your front door um, prior to today, had you ever done any kind of research like that? And before I ask, let me just say, if, if we were to look through everything in your phone uh, or your home desktop computer, is there any anything kind of research on your internet history that would show that you've done research on like self-defense? Or have you ever heard of the term stand your ground? Yes. Have you I ever have done any kind of research on that? Yes, when it was mentioned on um, some guy shot um, someone at a... Um, convenience store and they said stand your ground man uh, laws. Was that like a Florida situation? Because yes. I know every state yes. has kind of different was, laws. I think it was Florida. Okay. I think it was Florida. Okay. And when was that? God, years ago. That was years ago? Yeah, that was years ago, I think. So nothing recent that would be on like your internet browser history? Um, and I just looked it up today. Right, right. But I mean other than uh, basically before this incident occurred at your door, but not we're not talking about like a couple years ago. We're talking about Within the last few months, would there be? Because your internet browser, even if you delete it or you go on <laughs> private browser, if if you know we take what a look at those hell? things because we we did go through your phone. The judge order yes. signed an mm -hmm. order for us to be able to do that. He mm -hmm. he agreed that there was reasonable uh, enough evidence to, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Okay. So if that were the case, if we, if we were just to look through that, would there show anything that you were I, looking up stand I your honest. ground or self defense laws in Florida on, on the internet? I don't know. I look up tons of stuff. Is it a possibility that you looked that up? Could have been. I don't know. The interrogation we've seen until now has displayed the detectives acting rather friendly to trick Susan into believing they want the best for her. But clearly, Susan is yeah, not cracking. This is when the lead <laughs> Yo, that's actually decides no to way. take Hold a much, up. much different Hold approach. Up. That's actually a five-head move? <laughs> Who's going to prove that she's the one who did it in that case? At this point, we don't even know if the iPad was taken. I'm I'm hearing conflicting fucking stories at this point. Because the first video, I don't think, did the first video, I don't think the first video mentioned it. The second video mentioned it. And then this one, it wasn't actually, like, brought up at all. So I don't know if that's even a factor. The one, the one consistent thing that has been brought up is that she tried to, th she didn't try to, she threw a rollerblade or roller skate at one of the kids. But, like... <laughs> That is way too fucking... And confront Susan bruh. for all her horrible bruh. actions. So, Susan, I've, I've, we've talked, <laughs> we've talked enough that I've, I've that come to a conclusion up. here. Are you the Susan <laughs> that has done research on Stand Your Ground and has planned oh for this to happen? Was planning for this to happen? There's there's a spectrum here. Is this the Susan over here? And then there's, um, then there's also could be Susan? Susan over here that was... What? Susan's on I the have spectrum? a gun in the house... I am, um, I'm scared. Someone is knocking <laughs> on the door. I'd uh, like them to go away. I'm just going to, oh, I picked up the gun and I accidentally shot the gun. There's a Susan somewhere in the world like that. You've somehow found hey, a spot in the middle where you're trying Susan. to explain this, but it doesn't actually make any <laughs> sense. Um, that within two minutes, because we know it's two minutes, within two, two minutes, minutes, this person came over no, and they were able the to put down uh, a series Susan. of statements such as in Utah, no! you said this, that they came the right up to the, and they, they want to have a discussion with the, the way that you were treating your, their, their kids that day. <laughs> you said that, that they were able to make that sentence. I want to talk to you about the kids. I'm banging on the door. I, I want to talk to you about the kids. So, They're making statements that like that. We've wild. interviewed other people that it was a very brief interaction and then you you shot them. Now, this wasn't a long siege. It wasn't a castle siege. It didn't last for 20, 30 minutes. It was two minutes. This wasn't a castle so siege. So you're trying Other to tell what? us that, huh? that what the a reasonable that person said? would shoot somebody for less than two minutes of making statements outside. That doesn't make any sense. So that I have to look on the scale here. Where is Susan? It, did she plan this? Is she a cold-blooded killer that plans things? Was this an accident? Or... Was this something that got out of hand? Is it somewhere in the middle that makes more sense? Not what Susan's telling me. Is it somewhere in the middle? Because I know that I talked to detectives. So detectives did. We kind of went through just, your first know. interview. And in that first really interview, you had even it. said to the kids, you know what, go get your mom. No, I didn't. 
You, you said something along the lines is when they said, I'm going to go get my mom, you said, go get her. Go get her. Which is fine. I want to talk to an adult, too. I don't want to talk to a kid. That makes it's, it weirder, though. No, hold up. So th this if that's actually, if this is actually, uh, no, hold up. If she literally said, go get your mom, that's so much more ominous. And also, if you tell the children, go get their mom, and then their mom rocks up, what is the fucking reason for you to run into your house, shut the door, and then shoot her through the door? Like, that makes no goddamn sense. You literally asked for the mother to come out so that you could, I assume, talk to the mother. Like, what the fuck? During our interview also, you have these, I don't I remember, so I don't remember. There's confused. been a couple of times that you don't remember. And these are important things to remember. And you're not able to remember them. I, I believe Why that you do remember them. Susan's and that ass worries me. That makes me feel like you're not telling us it because you are trying to, Does that you Susan are cry? Susan, like the person Susan that suffering. is planning. I'm just, children just trying to figure out who's sitting in front of me here. Of is it is it over here? I'm, I've been planning this. I've been, I, I picked up the gun and I was waiting for her to come over because it was very quick. It was two minutes. Um, or it was, I had the gun in my hand and I made a mistake, but now I've dug my heels in and I've made these statements so far to Detective Stiff about a mistake I made and I feel like I can't go back. I don't want to feel like you're at a point that you can't go back. We are all human. And I'm going to tell you this, 99% of the people that sit in front of me in this room, they do not tell me the truth like the entire time. Corner. But then that we get to a, fucking fucking a point where I show like, them that everything they're saying sense. actually doesn't make any sense. And I always tell them, I say, look, we Someone want to go needs to bring in the fucking alpha chat. We don't want to go down the path of embarrassment or humiliation right or I made a mistake. They right don't want to do now. that, but I show them everything. And they say, you know what? And I don't hold it against them. I don't take anything personally. If you had said something before that was not true and you felt like you had to go down that path to protect yourself or whatever it is, but it's not true, this is your opportunity to tell us. And I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to say Susan is a jerk or a liar or anything like that. I'm going to say what Susan's saying now makes a little bit more sense for me and Detective Stiff. And this is that opportunity. If something is different than what you originally told us, I might be able to make sense out of it because I know your history now. I know that you were a victim of some kind of sexual trauma. I know that there was things that happened to you when you were in school. I know that you have gone through hard experiences and maybe that influenced why you said the things you said before. But I can tell you right now what, we're, what we've learned, what we've discussed all leading up to this, it doesn't make any sense. So this is your opportunity to actually tell us that something that does make sense. I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to get mad. But whenever AJ was coming over that evening, what what happened whenever, what happened? Bring me to that moment when you had the gun in your hand. What were you thinking? All I wanted her was to go away. I just, you know, I felt she was going to come through that door and kill me. I'm sorry, that's what I felt. I just felt she was going to come through the door and kill me. Okay. She's really going to stand her ground. Well, stand her ground. She's really going to lay that. that. She's really just going to be like, I really because thought in those the, two the minutes. First time that we talked, Technically less than two minutes because the shot rang out. That, in that, that those less than two away. minutes, I thought I was a dead woman. And I wasn't walking. sure if you had mm -hmm. you been aware of that. I thought she was going to go full Hulk mode through the, the, the door and beat my ass to the ground. Yeah. So when I informed you of that, you showed emotion. You showed what appeared to me to be at least... Uh, somewhat of a remorse for what had happened. So do you, do you with feel bad for what had happened? Do you feel bad for the children? Right now? So this is just fun. And I think, you know, Detective Pender is, we're, we're trying to give you the opportunity to to try to explain some of these discrepancies in the story. Now, the things that don't really add up or make sense. And you maintaining that um, you were in fear for your life. It, it just doesn't make sense. And I, I feel like at this point, um, today you really haven't. And, I, and I'm How not much judging is left you, in this? Because you know, I don't. Uh, processes there's things only 14 minutes left. So I understand that. But you haven't really I seen the more people today. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, God. Yeah, it just, it's making, she it's maybe a dumbass. She's not that it. fucking dumb. I, don't know. I can't take it back. Looks like she's really digging her heels in and being like, I was just scared of the of the mother. I was terrified of the unarmed mother knocking on my door. I, I truly felt like I was going to die. 
<laughs> well, my students choose it first. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh my god. Inner conflict is horrible. Holy no. no. I was against my faith. I broke the commandment. I, I just did all the, I feel horrible for what I did. <clears throat> From this point onwards, Susan cannot run from the consequences of her actions. She has been caught, and officers are about to make it very clear the kind of situation she is in. Okay, so looking back on it now, and um, do, do you think that, that she was actually going to get through that door? I mean, I be honest, honest with us, because... I she was coming through the door. Yeah. As God is my friend, I thought she was going to come through that door. I'm sorry, it's just what I felt. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, at this point, like, we've talked to you, we've talked to a lot of people and gone through the evidence, we've, we've discussed all of this mm -hmm. uh, with the state attorney's office as well. Um, you know, after talking to you for several hours on on Saturday morning and then today, I think they're. Um, I was gonna say, I think I they're able that, to use this footage in court as well um, as proof of like. There was a level things. of fear, but from from everything I've seen, it doesn't rise to the level. Every Spider-Man has gone through some trauma. Um, and, 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 it's you know, trauma. <laughs> I think you know that what that wasn't fuck? reasonable what you did. This is some bull. Don't bring so Spider-Man into this. I, I just felt so terrified. You know, here she comes again. You know, again, she's screaming. She's yelling. She's acting unreasonable. She didn't um, have time to scream said, or to yell. This. You said that you went on Facebook today. Um, I can only imagine that at some point you may have seen some of the news yes. dealing with this case yes. and this story. Yes. Okay. What kind of stuff did you see? I told oh, shit. I left the child. I... Said all kinds of things that I never said. You know what I saw? Oh my God! So she's she didn't see anything having to do with the fact that those children are without a mother and suffering, or any of the family members. You, you only saw that people were getting angry at you. That speaks volumes. I feel like genuinely to not have any type of remorse in that way is ridiculous to me. Like, how do you do something so fucking massive? On a scale that affects so many lives, right? And yes, it's not like a mass tra tragedy, but like, there are people affected by this because you decided to do something and you don't see that at all, or you don't seem to care to see that. I saw four kids that no longer have a mother. Exactly. Thank you. And thank you. I'm not I like the detectives in this case, and I also do like the um, cops that we've seen. But those are children, nonetheless, right? And now they don't have a mother to go home to. Yeah. And I think you I know mean, what you did I mean, that's my whole wrong. point. And in the pictures, there's an adult with them. So I assume a family member stepped in and is either raising the children or helping with their raising now. But that's not the same as their mother. Like, you took their mother from them. I understand. It's been so, two minutes. So you, to me, it wasn't two minutes. To me, it was much longer. In my mind, I, it just it felt like... But it there's, was only, there's only one... That's some bullshit. I'm reality sorry. ...reality where time, time okay. exists. That and is some bullshit. perception of time can be different for, for different people. But in, in the reality of things, you had just disconnected. <clears throat> Within two minutes, a shot was fired through that door. There was that much that transpired. Within that two minutes where statements were made, I want to I wanna know why you're throwing stuff at my kids or whatever it was she was saying and then shot fired and and she's down and then another 911 call comes in that that's there's no way to justify that in my mind I don't think in detective Pender's I, I, mind I, I can't make sense and clearly in other people's minds that we've discussed this case with the state attorney mm -hmm. our legal counsel and things like that mm -hmm. so I mean at this point, we've discussed it with the state, and they and tell her she's going on, to jail. Tell her she's going to jail right now. As far as charging you with with a let's fucking go. Okay. okay. Although I think it should be I murder. Know, I, to say. I, just, I, was in I feel like it should be fucking I, murder. Honestly, God, I just feared that she was going to come through that door. I'm sorry if that's how I felt. I can't change the way I felt. I, I guess you can argue so manslaughter I because I like, she you can argue she, that she was still scared. Yes, it wasn't justified, so but there was emotion one of the there. Things I want to ask and I think you can also I, argue that she wasn't aiming to kill. She was just aiming to hit. You know, what, what so it's more of a manslaughter she, thing. But um, God damn it, you, know, you murdered her. Away, like, I hate that. She has four kids. And, um, you know, I, I, I was observing the interviews that were conducted with them. 
and, and the emotions that they were going through. And you shared some of those same emotions at, at points through the conversations that we had. And I just want to, like, obviously I, I can't let you talk to them mm -hmm. or give a message to them and, and like face to face. Mm -hmm. But I would like, if, if it's up to you if, if you would like to write them a letter or something. Yeah, pretty much. To kind of like know, that's also awesome to kind of give some type heart. of closure you don't have to, to the we're children just leave a notepad to give the, the option room. to be like oh, if you want to write a note to family to members so we're or whatever step out else for, to, to, do to kind that of show that you're you know you regret what you did um, i mean that's very much what i mean and, come and, on uh, we're just i also Especially I offer children are involved bro we can't let them talk to so it's just something we do so um, if you'd like to do that, we're going to get that paperwork going, like you said. Did she write But that's where the state's at right now. Did she that's actually write at. a letter? And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in okay. just a minute, okay? But mm -hmm. if, if you'd like to write on something, that's right there, okay? All right, Susan. All right, we're going to have you go with this Debbie here. That doesn't look like the paper's um, moved, so yeah. I don't think she wrote anything. I'm sorry? No. Did no, she just uh, say no? What's wrong? You can't What's say wrong? no. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Well, I mean, we're, um, unfortunately, like we're that, to that point shut where the fuck up, bitch. You're going. Like, what? You don't get to say no. Um, obviously, this isn't a conviction. This is you being charged. Yeah, this is a charge. You have to go through the court, court of law now. Yeah. To uh, present your side of the story. You did okay, this, so bitch. Go like, this I don't. No, I'm not. Be and this was so no, fucking no. preventable. All you had yeah, to do was not pull out a gun. Like, you could have called pictures. the cops, you could have not and answered your have, door, uh, cops would have showed up, they would have de-escalated the situation, nothing, nothing probably would have really happened out of it. There's a phone down there, you'll be able to call whoever you need to call, and right there in booking. I'm not going. But, um... Did she just say I'm not Susan, going? You, we are, we are going. Um, there's no change in that now. You're, you're under arrest, in fact, um... She wants to speak to their manager. Yeah. Let's get well, her, let's Susan, get you handcuffed. Up. Stand up. No, don't touch me. Susan. Stand up, Susan. No. Don't. no. Listen, I can't it can go one of two ways. It can go an easy way or it can go a really hard way. Do, bitch, you did it. We don't want it to go the hard way. I'm so sorry. I'm Susan, so put sorry. yourself in our position. We There's no choice in this. You're going, this you're going over there. Shit. It's, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Susan, like, does she just expect them from, to be like, oh, the I'm the so sorry, that never that mind, whoops, like, huh? What you talking about? and and resisting that it's it's making making you look bad, okay? Sorry, and I understand I your reluctance to want to go. Good. I just can't do Okay, this. well, they have medical staff over there so that can you assist there, you. There's a nurse right in the front. They can, no. you give them the I prescription medications that you're taking, all of that. They will assist you in making sure that you get the care you need. No, but I can't we're going this. over there, okay? You're going to go over there. And I just can't what do you do mean this. you can't okay. boy? Well, Come on, Susan, stand up. If, no, if we, we don't have time to debate. I can't do this. Okay, but do you understand that you're under arrest and you're going to be taken to the jail one way or another, okay? I don't care. Susan? I, I just can't do this. I'm sorry. I don't, uh, you, what you're saying and doing right now is not, is not reasonable. I know it's not There's reasonable, been people, but I just can't do this. Let's go, you, when so you say it's, you know it's not reasonable, that doesn't make sense to me. I understand. I just can't do this. I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm this is why we're in this position here, Susan, is because the decisions Susan, you make act like a are not adult. reasonable. You, you make just like what I'm we're sorry. experiencing right now. I'm sorry. I just can't do this. I can't do this. I've had people sit in this chair that have done things <laughs> and they get up, they walk out on their own accord. They've done some really bad things. Okay. You're not the only person, but I need I you to just feel horrible. I can't do this. Okay. Like well, we're we're going to go to the jail. <laughs> There's so no changing disgusting. this. There's no I'm stopping sorry. it. Like, bitch, you did what? And you can't, huh? We're not going to kill anybody. We're going to, we're going to take you to the jail. We'd rather you walk on your own. We'd rather you just walk down there. It'd be so much better for everybody if we could yeah, just walk down can there. Can you just stand up for me? No. So what do you plan on sitting here the rest of the night? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to die of a heart attack. Well, like I said, they have medical staff over there. We want to be able to get you over there. The quicker we get you over there, the quicker someone over there that's in medical can see you. No, I just can't do Susan, this. this is what's going to happen. We're going to put you in handcuffs, and if we have to forcefully bring you out there that's what we're we have to do, do because that. we're obligated really don't to, to take you to the jail now okay thank you for standing sorry, up I, just I understand that so put your hands behind your back for me I was kind of hoping we'd see Susan get taken to the ground I'm not gonna lie <laughs> am I horrible for that for having that thought yeah. I was kind of hoping that like, they would be like Susan yeah there ain't I no goddamn way I wouldn't do anything like that this is ridiculous <laughs> am I bad <laughs> Am I a bad person? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
We're gonna go out this way. As of June 2024, Susan Lawrence's trial way. is ongoing as she is facing a manslaughter charge bliss. and could face up to 30 years in prison. However, black communities and AGK's family <laughs> have been you. demanding <laughs> okay. that this be upgraded <laughs> to a murder charge, <laughs> as according to them, this was like, premeditated. I know it's not going to happen. Certainly they're not going to pull out the taser. They're not going to pull out the pepper spray. But like, no! Why would you Please waste that? I'm ending the stream soon. We're at the end of the video. All the evidence pointed to a murder too. <sighs> Unfortunately, state up. attorneys claimed that there was insufficient evidence for this to be possible. Go, is that okay? Susan, yeah. on the other hand, wants this trial to be That's over. Fine. So she continues to urgently request a speedy trial from Circuit Judge Robert Hodges. What the, the reason why I'm asking for a speedy trial is I'm not getting care in jail. I'm running blood pressures of 200 over 100, and I'm just afraid I'm going to die because they're not caring for me at all. The audacity of her to say that she doesn't want to die in jail if her heart continues to beat. My daughter, Ajika Owens' heart will never beat. Her four precious babies' hearts will never beat the same. The mitigated gall, the selfish, is deplorable. Ajike's family has been That's unable to overcome up. her death even a year later because she was the focal point of dozens of individuals in her life. Even her Facebook comments would show nothing but support, love, Aww. and trust from the ones who knew her. But the ones who were affected the most are the children of the Owens family, the ones who had to watch their mother get shot and take her last Jesus breaths right in front of them. Christ. After her death, Ajike's mother, Pamela Diaz, took the four children aged between four and Aww. 12 under her care Pamela continues to mourn, but refuses to let her daughter's death go in vain there and wishes go. for a better future for the black community. It's still sad. It's still, still depressing, do do but it? damn. It is simply by the grace of God. I thought it's in one year. What the fuck is this audio? You see me in front of the cameras, and I'm simply just a voice for my daughter and my four grandchildren. But what you don't know is when the cameras are gone yeah. and I'm all alone in the still of the night and I lay in my bed praying. Why is there someone directly God in the way? Bitch, move. Nurture, to help me nurture my four grandchildren. What the fuck is going souls. on with this camera? My deepest and greatest fear is that they'll lose their faith and trust in God mm. Mm. that their mother so instilled in their hearts. Mm. Pamela is not alone in her sentiments either. The he entire says. Ocala community <laughs> has been committed to commemorating a GK and most importantly, demanding for changes in stand your ground laws. Attorneys in this case would call the law archaic and call for its eradication. However, Speculation still remains about whether or not Susan had used this legal loophole to murder an innocent woman. But considering her history of lies regarding her racist remarks, harassment towards others, yeah, and her having absolutely no remorse about her actions, it is highly yeah. likely that this is the case. However, yeah, there has, has been no thinking, verbal confession you know? from Susan herself as she I don't continues think to plead ever not guilty. Confess. Her whole thing Do you think is that, that, she's that Susan intentionally like, planned this murder after complex. she had researched this law? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's what I meant by this case is fucked. It's just, you can, I don't think you can even argue the stand your ground. No. Shut up, Avira. Uh, Racial slurs, 911 calls. So this was um released literally or updated August 9th at 11.38 a.m. So uh, We already know about this. I don't know if this would have anything new in it. <coughs> we know about this. Should an expert be allowed to testify at trial? Uh, her lawyers and prosecutors went back and forth trying to determine if the testimony of a psych psychology expert should be allowed during trial. The expert has a doctorate in educational psychology and is knowledgeable in the science behind decision making in humans, the defense said. Prosecutors want the expert to testify because he can speak to how people make decisions in stressful situations and how the brain works when it's in fear. But po prosecutors are concerned that it won't it wouldn't be relevant since the doctor 
hasn't personally evaluated Susan. He's only seen and read her interviews with law enforcement. The judge ultimately decided the expert's testimony will be allowed during trial, but he must stick to the science behind making decisions and cannot speak to the mind of Susan on the day of the incident. Uh... The other issue at hand during Friday's hearing was determining what portions of her interviews with law enforcement and other discovery can be excluded from being used at trial since they contain reported statements made by Susan that appear to have been racially charged. The defense, prosecutors, and judge went through dozens of pages of documents during the hearing and picked apart instances in interviews and depositions that should or should not be included during trial. One of the state's biggest concerns was the context of some of those interactions Susan reportedly had with Owens leading up to the alleged shooting. A prosecutor said it's a very big issue in this case why the victim went to the defendant's door the day of the shooting and all these interactions are relevant to why the victim went to the defendant's door on the day of the shooting. Uh, and to just take out the prompts of why the victim may have responded a certain way in the past... Then we're going to be left with the defendant's perception of these threats. The victim's going to kill me in these streets, but no explanation of the entire context. So it paints a misrepresentation. The victim's going to kill me in these streets is one of the utterances Susan reportedly made about Owens. The documents that the state and defense were combing through Friday morning alluded to other previous interactions that included Susan reportedly calling Owens' children by racial, intellectual, and homophobic slurs. Jesus Christ. The defense maintained that what's relevant to the case is what happened on the day of the incident. And Susan's alleged use of race, racial slurs isn't. According to the arrest affidavit, Susan allegedly swung an umbrella at one of Owens' children and threw one of their tablets on the ground. Saying that she may have called Miss Owens' kid the N-word or racial slurs sometime in the past is not relevant. So they're just arguing whether or not what can be used. Uh... Both sides went through and agreed on which statements to redact and which could remain. At some points throughout the hearing, Susan was seen shaking her head or smiling while the state or defense go back and forth about what to redact. Can body cam video be redacted? Another issue at hand was a moment in body cam video from deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office from the night of the shoot shooting. The video, which was played in court, showed the aftermath of the shooting with several people on the scene screaming for help. Early on in the video, someone is heard saying she did it on purpose. The judge granted a defense motion to have this utterance redacted from the video. Ah. I think the rest of it is relevant, the judge added. It's the aftermath of a homicide. Can 911 calls? What? A fourth motion was filed with the, by the defense with regard to a 911 call they deemed to be irrelevant to the case. In one part of the 911 call, uh, Susan says the following. Yes, ma'am. She's come after me several times because of her children. Her children keep trespassing over here. They're bothering and bothering me. They won't fucking stop. The judge said that this was relevant to the case as it explains, quote, explains exactly why she shot when she shot, unquote. Uh-uh. Let's see. She was originally charged for both manslaughter with a firearm and misdemeanor assault, but the assault charge has since been dropped. The judge said that since it's already served more than the typical 60-day sentence for that, it's a moot point, which honestly, I could kind of see that. So the jury selection is the 11th, and the trial is going to begin on the 12th. So this is still very much ongoing. This is still very much ongoing. That's kind of interesting. I kind of want to check back in to see what the actual verdict is and stuff. Anything else that happens, like, throughout the uh, trial. It'd be interesting to kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, I just wanted to revisit that case because I remember seeing the initial, at least part of the initial body cam footage from uh, when the incident actually occurred. I want to say it was, like, half a year ago at this point that we saw it, but... A bunch of stuff happened, so I was like, you know what? Update time! I think the detectives did a really good job. Like, absolutely amazing job on this one. I loved seeing the interactions with the cops and the, uh, people on scene, and even the kids leading up to what was happening. The cops seemed really, like, down-to-earth and nice, at least in this instance, which is kind of refreshing. There's a lot of situations where it can cops can be kind of off-putting, or there can be, like, a weird weird dynamic that gets played out because it's a cop 
and it really just seemed like they were just like, yeah, she's she's a little fucking weird. She's she's, she's an old lady with nothing better to do, kiddos. You're good. You're fine. I just I feel so bad for the kids. I feel like they they definitely suffered the most in this situation. It's one thing when adult on adult like violence is a thing or adult on adult true crime is a thing and it's still sad and it still shouldn't happen but whenever kids are drug into it it just it makes me that much sadder cuz like bro what the fuck <laughs> like she had the audacity to not only murder this woman but to do it in front of the neighborhood to do it in front of kids to do it in front of witnesses like how fucking stupid do you have to be <laughs> that was unnecessary Oh, oh my god. I can't believe it's already 8.30. Good lord. This has been nice, though. This has been exactly what I thought it would be. Um, I didn't do any gaming streams earlier simply because I did not have the focus or attention span for it. I do apologize. Um, I am feeling better, but I'm not 100%. The last few days kind of wrecked me, and honestly, before that, stuff was wrecking me because, like, germs and stuff, so... I'm finally bouncing back. I'm in a good mood. I've been in a good mood. I'm looking forward to what the rest of this month brings. Uh, like I said, around the 14th, I will be transferring funds over from my Throne account. And I will be pur purchasing uh, the VR headset. And sometime around then, I'll probably also cave. And with the funds that I have gotten from streaming, I will be purchasing a stream deck. So... There's that to look forward to. When I do actually order them, I'll go ahead and I'll probably post in the Discord and on Twitter. Um... I'm excited to play Skyrim and other things on the VR headset once it's set up. Just kind of experience it. It'll be fun. <coughs> other than that, I don't really have any crazy plans. Uh, I'm hoping to pick up some overtime because I want to kind of buckle down and save up some more this year to kind of get some stuff done. The biggest thing definitely being tea, which I have already told you guys about. I'm hoping within the next couple of months to save up and start. I found a program by the name of Folks. F-O-L-X. That offers um, gender affirming care and treatment. Uh, you pay a membership fee and then you pay out of pocket for the appointments. But it seems from the prices on the website and from what I found on like reddits and stuff that the prices are pretty reasonable for what it is. It's still obviously going to cost money but it's feasible. Especially after saving for a couple months I should be able to do it. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I want to have at least one stream a week. Going forward, at least, um, I'll warn you guys ahead of time in the Discord and on Twitter when it does happen, if it happens, all that. Because um, I still want to have chill time with y'all. I still enjoy the streaming thing, even if life is kind of busy and there's anxiety and stuff, you know? I, uh, my plan is by the end of this month to do the paperwork for just a regular general practitioner because I haven't had like an actual yearly checkup in years because of COVID and stuff. Uh, I want to do that, and then within the next following month, month and a half, uh, sign up for folks and set up my first consultation slash appointment through them. And, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, going to go from there. I, I've i mentioned before that I've been wanting to go on T. Last time I looked into HRT, it wasn't really a feasible or viable option from what I saw, from what options were available to me, like, somewhat locally, which made me really sad, and I kind of, like, gave up on it for a while, and... I just, I went through, like, a thing, and, yeah. It's nice to actually have some hope that it's something I can do. It's such a dumb thing to be excited for, but, like, I don't know. I'm excited for it. It'll be fun. It'll definitely be something. Uh, I am a tired boy. I am still kind of trying to get my energy back. I'm going to stretch my legs. Well, I'm going to stretch my legs, put away the leftover food that I have so it doesn't go bad. I'm going to take some meds because my head is kind of hurting a little bit. The stream was nice. I don't regret doing the stream, but I my head is starting to hurt. <laughs> so I'm going to take some more meds. I took some before the stream. I'm going to take some more meds. I'm probably going to hide in the shower for a few minutes, let my head calm down, and then just kind of vibe out for the rest of the night. Just kind of chill. Um, the VOD for this stream will either be up tonight or sometime tomorrow. Um, I'm still exporting videos to the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is still very behind from what you guys see. Because I haven't actually put descriptions and thumbnails and made the videos public. But I'm trying to catch it up so it's current. And then I'm not going to let this bitch slip again. Like, 
This has been taking forever to export things over. Actually, while I'm here, let me see if it's finished exporting the video that I had set up. <coughs> so all I'm doing is exporting the highlights for the VODs on this channel to the YouTube channel for VODs. Um, but I'm exporting them over and they're unpublished because I have to set up descriptions, tags, and thumbnails, which I got to go through and do. It's probably going to be a couple days process to do that to get it up to date. But the first step is to port everything over to that YouTube channel. Uh, right now I'm at, let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to see where I'm at. Ah! Anemia, let's see, it's true crime. Yeah, right now I'm caught up to April 27th, 2024. So we're still a little bit behind, but I'm hoping within the next couple months, or not next couple months, within the next like week, week and a half, it'll be all caught up. And then it's just a matter of sitting down for like a solid half day and like putting in the thumbnails and descriptions and all the boring stuff. That's the idea. I think I still have some clips to port over as well. So I'm trying. The theme is I'm trying. I'm trying to get some stuff done. Another thing that I'm going to be doing once I do start taking tea, like when I, when I am on tea, is I'm planning on getting some stuff at home for exercising because I do not have gym money <laughs> or honestly gym time, but I'm hoping that I can get like a regular exercise schedule down at home. Um, just to kind of build up a little bit of muscle and just be healthier. It's not necessarily for like any actual like severe bottom bodybuilding or anything. Just to kind of help the process along, burn off extra energy. I am essentially going to be going through another puberty, so yeah, <laughs> I am. That's going to be a thing. Not quite Loki, but not quite, but just a slightly healthier mindset. I uh. I don't really exercise enough to begin with, if I'm going to be honest. The only thing that kind of has me, doesn't push me to do that is because of how tired I usually am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Honestly, it'll be an entire journey uh, from what I was looking up because I've done, I've, I mean, I've already looked into this before the last time I was hype and I was trying to like get it set up and that got shot down because realistically I just couldn't do it. Um, it depends on how much tea I'm taking and what my end goals are, but the effects of tea, it can take years for it to fully set in. <clears throat> it is genuinely like going through puberty. I mean, that's essentially what you're forcing your body into. Although, hopefully I'll enjoy this puberty a lot more than the first one. <laughs> uh, to be fair. Honestly. Oh my goodness. Where is right here? I thought it tells me I'm live. I know I'm live, motherfucker. But yeah. So those are my plans for the next like it'll probably lead into like half a year. I mean honestly if I'm taking tea that shit is not gonna stop unless I do I cannot afford it because duh. But yeah. I'm hoping to get some stuff done. I've already kind of started to get the ball rolling on certain things. I'm just trying to be more productive. I'm trying to be more happy. I'm trying to embrace certain things that that are within reason. I've always tried to like... I mean, we all live kind of day to day. I feel like if you're low income especially, that's just a thing. But No more true crime. We went over the case, wizard. We, um... I Yeah. I, I, I'm excited to not be on, like, emergency mode, <laughs> if that makes sense. To not just be like, okay, we're surviving. <laughs> I, to look forward to things is kind of nice. Even with my sensory issues and with my brain being dumb and whatever, you know? <laughs> it's kind of nice. 
It definitely does mean I'm subject to tweak some things with the VTuber with with my current form on screen, but I'm not even touching that yet. <laughs> my fucking oh, I mentioned it I think on stream right after it happened, but right now I don't have a fucking drawing tablet I can use because my f something happened. I don't know which family member, but magically my fucking drawing pen for my tablet ended up on the floor in pieces. So I th that thing is useless, and the cost to replace the actual pen. I, I can just get a brand new tablet that comes with a pen and tips. So, eventually, within the next few months, I'm probably going to cave and get another Huan drawing tablet. It's pretty cheap. That's the blessing. But uh, it's just kind of frustrating because, like, if I wanted to draw digitally right now, that's just not something I could do. Yes, the pens have tips that you can interchange and take, in, uh, take out. What the fuck? Wait, really? Really? I was playing Fortnite. Yes, I get it. It's funny. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, I'm just really happy I was able to unlock the third skin from the Fortnite. Uh, for my Fallout boy, the epic one. I like the epic one. Yes. <laughs> I was tempted to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> They accidentally put in the X-Men collab and took it out. Oh shit. I wonder if Endo was aware of that. That fucking... <laughs> that fucking Peanuts meme is stuck in my head. It's such a funny fucking meme. <laughs> oh, such a good one. Alrighty, I gotta get off or my head's gonna explode. It's hurting. No... It's the the jork in it meme. That meme is fucking hilarious to me. I'm a simple boy. <laughs> I'm a very simple boy. Uh. There we go. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. Alrighty. This has been fun. This has been chill. I mean, well, I hate saying fun for true crime. This in Cat Tire case is just kind of, it was really sad. I don't know if he actually did. I don't, I don't know if he did. Yeah, I'm not sure. I really don't know. I was playing with him earlier, too. He just didn't mention it. Honestly. But yeah, so over the... I didn't really state it, but over the next few weeks... Uh, the next stream, we're probably going... The next stream that happens... We're probably going to finish the quarry because I really would like to finish that game. Following stream is probably going to be Baldur's Gate. I'm trying to get the London mod for Fallout 4 to work. If I can get that son of a bitch working, then I'm going to play that with crowd control. I really want to. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it does! It looks awesome! But I'm trying to get it to work. We had... Um, editor kind of was helping me out because I was coming... I was, I was having issues with it. And, um... I forget the exact issue. My brain fucking hurts so bad right now. Um... I, f I forgot the issue, but it's... Something was having issues with something else having to do with an update. I'm gonna, like, uninstall everything and probably try again and reinstall it. I'll probably pull editor... <laughs> I'll probably get editor in here and <laughs> try to figure it out. He was getting upset he couldn't figure it out, so. We will eventually play that. I do, I really want to play it. It looks really fun. It looks really fucking fun! But yeah, those are like short term plans for like random streams, the next few streams at least. <laughs> in it, bro. <laughs> Should I raid out? We actually have people. I'm kind of tempted. see uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. what do we got Ooh, cb doodles is streaming i fucking love cb doodles awesome content creator skelly person um does a lot of art actually looks like they're doing art they're finishing projects right now i feel like that's a good good person to send you guys off to they're awesome I absolutely love their vibes in community. Like, quite honestly. Oi. Um, it looks like they're drawing right now. Uh, skull, skull art, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Shit. 
Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start this raid. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay. Command still works. If you guys want to just chill and vibe in their stream, uh, take in the um, calm vibes and watch them create some awesome art, I highly recommend them. They're just, I mean, honestly, I kind of love popping into their streams and lurking just because the vibes are really nice. They're really calm and that's awesome. I really like that. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna stretch my leg bones. I'm going to put some food away. I'm going to take some meds and I'm gonna try to get rid of this headache before the end of the night and then zone out for the rest of the night. That is my plan. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for being here. It means a ton to me. Till next stream, friends. Goodbye.